Hello everybody and welcome to day four of Safari Week 2024. I'm very excited to be back here today. Guys, it is a little bit of a later start than I thought it was going to be. So I don't know about you guys, but I say let's just go ahead and jump right on into the Safari Zone. We're going to try to recover for some lost time, um, but uh, we're here. We're excited. Things are looking good. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Let me know if uh, you guys can hear everything okay. I'm just going to get signed in to the, uh, the game here. And let's get into the Safari Zone. Um, I do think we should start with Area 2 in Fire Red, kind of like what we were doing yesterday. So we're going to do that. Um, I did about 200 encounters off stream. It's a bit overwhelming, to be honest. Might just be you. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, let me go ahead and adjust that. Because, like, the settings on here were just like, this is the ideal volume, essentially. How is that? I've halved it. Let me know how that's good. How, how that's good. Let me know how that sounds. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully everything sounds good. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Still trying to figure that out. Um, I realized that it wasn't actually too difficult to get the music on here. Uh, and so I just, you know, was like, oh, yeah, you know, like, let's just, uh, let's just get this going. Hey everybody, Future Scotty here. Um, so I wanted to make this quick edit just because I was planning on having music be playing through this whole section, uh, but unfortunately, my Spotify playlist was playing at the same time as my uh, as my uh, iTunes playlist, so some copyright music was being played. So to prevent any strikes, I've muted the music until about 30 minutes in, uh, where you know. I fixed the problem. So any references to music at the beginning of the stream that you hear about, just know that those don't apply to the VOD. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much. I'll let Pascotti take it from here. Enjoy the VOD. And there we go. I'm here on time. Let's go, dude. Music could be turned down. I'm sorry I missed that. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate that. Wait, hold up. This is area one? I thought this was area two. I guess I'm a uh, big dumb. I don't know. Okay. We good there. We good there. We got this encounter. And we got this encounter, so I think that we should be good to go. Yeah, sounds pretty good. Well, well, good. Let's go. I freaking love it. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Welcome on in to Safari Week Day 4. I am so excited to be here. Let's go ahead and I, for, I uh, used the white flute a little early on this file. So let's go ahead and do that. And we should be good to go ahead and get that encounter up. And we are good. We are good, man. I think we're good. All right. Let's freaking go. Yo, Hurricane, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome on into tonight's stream. It is good to see your face. My name is Scotty, and I'm a shiny hunter here on TikTok. You can also find me over on YouTube, which is where all of the VODs are being posted. Shout out to the VOD squad. Guys, it was really, um, I posted the VODs on YouTube this morning. I scheduled them for this morning, and I am just, I'm so happy that y'all are enjoying them. Thank you so much for the with the money gun my dude that is so freaking kind of you thank you so much man um but i really wanted to thank you guys over on the vod squad watching these over on youtube really means a ton to me thank you so much for uh the positive comments i really appreciated that this morning um so guys thank you so much for that that means that meant a lot um Heck yeah, I got my Dr. Pepper, good stream, and some shiny hunting. Let's freaking go, dude. Ryan, my man, how's it going? It's good to see your face. How are you doing, my dude? It's good to see you. Uh, any luck yet, Scotty? No luck for me. I did 200 encounters today uh, while I was working on, like, some projects and stuff like that. I wasn't able to do as much as I wanted to. And we're also a little bit of a late start this evening. But we're here, and I'm excited. We got, we were at uh, 3210 encounters. I'm excited to be here, you know? Legend. Nah, Kev, that's you, bro. You know that. You know that's true. Let's get those golden eggs, my dude. I'm excited for it, Weston. Let's get it. You know, we've been looking for them for a very long time. And uh, I'm hopeful that uh, this is the year. You know, maybe, dare I say, this is the day that we get the golden eggs. Get Midas's golden touch. I would be ecstatic. Egg static. <laughs> oh, man. I understand if you want to unfollow. I totally get it if you want to unfollow. Uh, <laughs> haven't seen you in a while. Let's go, Chandler. Welcome back. Did you ever finish the SBQ? No, actually, I did not. Chandler, my dude, I lost the SBQ. I lost the save file. Uh, well, I didn't lose the save file. I lost the cartridge that the file was on uh, for about like six months or so. Um, so super sad about that, but I found it. 
That's what we're playing right now. We've got the SPQ back. So now that it's uh, Safari week, we're hoping that we're going to get something to shine specifically for the SPQ. Um, after we get something to shine for the SPQ, assuming that we catch it, we are going to be progressing through the uh, through the SPQ after Safari week. Um, and we're also going to make a jump over to Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Now, I'm, I'm lower on the encounters uh, than I wanted to be. I was actually thinking about maybe seeing if I could get uh, two more DSs up on the screen to get uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver up. But yeah, I wasn't sure. Uh, MJ plays. It's good to see you. Thank you so much for the follow, my dude. It really means a lot. Welcome on in. My name is Scotty. Uh, sorry, I was a little late to the... Uh, to the follow but i appreciate that follow my dude it's nice to meet you welcome on in you're gonna have to let me know who is your favorite shiny pokemon would love to hear from you thank you so much for the follow dude it means a ton but yeah welcome on in guys it is good to be here a uh, little bit of a chaotic day over here i uh after stream last night i went to my alarm clock settings i use um I use, uh, anyway, I've got like a routine for my alarm clock. Like I use Alexa's routines for the alarm clock. Um, good, I didn't, I didn't trigger her. Um, and um, I thought that I changed the time to be set at 4.30 for the alarm clock. I did not. I set it for 3.40 unintentionally. So I, once my alarm went off, I just am in the habit of just like once I hear that alarm going off, I just get up and get moving, you know, like that's that's when my day starts. So I got up um, about an hour sooner than I wanted to be. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, that was uh, that was not that was not advantageous for me this morning. It was definitely a little bit of a crazy morning because of that. But you know what? We here. We doing good. We might be getting a rainstorm tonight. I'm excited about that. We've got a Nidorino and a Paris, neither of which are shiny. Hi everyone, have a great day. Let's go, Ron. How is it going today? Welcome on in. My favorite shiny is either Drudagon or Latias. So good, dude. Great shinies. Love those so much. Uh, Drudagon is a Pokemon, actually, that I feel like is is really worthy of more um more attention you know like it's got a really good shiny and i don't see enough people saying that they appreciate dreadagon's shiny so honestly weston like love that love that what a what a great pick for a good shiny pokemon i love to see that dude makes me want to shiny hunt a dreadagon at some point uh give dreadagon a mega dude hey we, you never know it could happen we could see it in a couple of months maybe who knows? Are we keeping up on any on any emerald hunts? Oh, uh, when? Yeah, you know what? We are doing. I've been doing emerald more off stream because I only have one copy of the game. Um, so I've only I've only been doing those like off stream as of right now. Um, I would love to get some emerald encounters on here because, like I've said before, I have never found a shiny in Pokemon Emerald ever. So I would like to break that. You know, like I would really it would be really good to you know find a shiny in in pokemon emerald i think that would be really cool and a ton of fun um but yeah you know like we'll have to we'll have to see what ends up happening cody was good it's good to see your face andrew what's good it's good to see your face uh tay where's the safari hat uh, it's right here we've got it right here uh shout out to pokemon fans from the philippines let's go ron what's good let's go happy safari week guys this is just one of the most magical events of the year. Um, I wouldn't say that we're droughting yet. Uh, we're still pretty young on here. You know, we've only got 32.58. We're just about, you know... <sighs> what are we? We're almost... We're getting closer to half odds. We're getting closer to half odds. Uh, we might be able to get to half odds tonight. Uh, the Discord Shiny review. You know what? I, I totally did not set that up. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We'll do that. Um, we'll, I, I got to I got to get that set up. I really want to do that. Um, I totally forgot. I totally forgot to get that set up, dude. I'm sorry. It has been a crazy day, dude. Um, plus, just, you know, tons of homework to work on. So that's been a lot of fun. Uh, always keeps me busy, you know. Uh, listen to me. You're going to find a shiny right about now. Oh, man. Dang it. Hey, you never know, man. All it takes is one encounter, so I believe you. We'll have to see. I believe you. 
I haven't been counting this week, uh, but after Psyduck ran for me, I'm counting this time around. Dude, yeah, keep track of that, man. I saw that in the Discord, dude. Big rip on the shiny Psyduck, dude. Hate to see that for you, man. Eh, I tried. <laughs> I appreciate the try. I appreciate the try. <laughs> It's funny, dude. I see, uh, I, I see moments like that, you know, where like someone's like, hey, yeah, shiny in like three, two, one. And it reminds me of, uh, I'm sure you're aware of Purple Cliff, right? Like he's huge Pokemon fan. Love his content. He's such a funny dude. Um, but he had a short a while ago where like one of his, uh, I think he was doing like a randomized Nuzlocke or something like that. But um, anyway, one of his viewers was like shiny in three, two, one. And he didn't find a shiny and then you know he was like making fun of him being like oh yeah shiny in three two one like ban that guy and immediately a shiny pops up like, it's such a funny clip he's got like such great timing for things i don't know how he does it dude um but yeah no anyway such a funny clip love that so much um but yeah every time i i get something like that it reminds me of that it makes me chuckle a little bit <laughs> so thanks for the laugh man i appreciate that mr lurker what's your count we got 19 932 dude best of luck man Dude, you are over double odds. You are um, getting closer to uh, triple odds. I'm not going to ask how you're feeling, but I am going to send you support and love and hope that you get something soon. Did you see when he failed the shiny Curum? <laughs> yeah, because he unplugged the computer. Dude, I swear. I swear. I mean, like, I've, I've, I did, I did see that. Dude, he's just so funny, man. I feel like all of his content is just top tier, dude. Not sure why I said nine uh, there, but uh, it's 19,632. Oh, I see what you're saying there. Okay, six, not nine. I was really curious why you, like, did the six and the asterisk, but okay, that makes more sense now. Uh, I, that makes more sense now. <laughs> cool dude we got nidoran and a doe duo nothing shiny here appreciate you guys being here by the way really means a lot having you guys here tonight thank you so much also thank you so much we're just getting started on the live we've only been live for about 11 minutes we're already sitting here with 1512 likes on the stream i really appreciate that guys i um it means a lot thank you guys so much um I appreciate, I super appreciate you being super involved with your viewers. Code Red, thank you so much. I appreciate that, man. That means a ton, dude. Hey, you know, I really love the community that we have here. And I am, um, that's what I'm here for. You know, that's what I'm about. And so I, I try really hard to, you know, be as involved as I can with as many of the comments as I can be. I'll admit, sometimes I'm better at it than other times. Um, I also do have a tendency to ramble a bit. So, you know, apologies, apologies for that if I get a little distracted, but I really love hanging out with you guys. It means a ton that you guys are choosing to spend your time here with me uh, while we're shiny hunting in the safari zone tonight and on other nights as well. So again, thank you guys so much. Kangaskhan, first one of the evening. Oh, that reminds me. We haven't seen a chancy yet, but we're going to be keeping track of how many chances we see in the 1% area tonight. So we're going to keep a chancy count okay i just wanted to get that anyway all i know is i'm mr bright side great song dude such a good song i was running to that this morning actually no cap bro like literally came up on my playlist and i was like dude we this is this is my jam this is great what shiny do you want to find most today oh it has i i just i really love i would really love to get evidence that um, Execute can indeed be shiny in Gen 3. I would love to receive that, you know, um, that evidence for myself um, and witness a shiny Execute. I don't even care if I catch it. I mean, I shouldn't say that, but like, I just want to see it at this point. I've been looking for it since 2018 and I've never seen a shiny Execute. Um, I failed several shiny Rhyhorn, so I would love to try to get that reclaim for the Rhyhorn. I've really got a feeling that we're going to get another Rhyhorn encounter here. Um, I think we'll get another Rhyhorn this year. I think we'll find another shiny Rhyhorn and maybe get, you know, maybe get that reclaim. But I think it might flee for me one more time. He's got a little bit. He thinks he's really funny, you know. Um, not fine if how that Rhyhorn is shaded when it's came in. I know, dude, right? Like, I, I was eyeing him. I was thinking maybe. I was thinking maybe there's a chance. Nah, dude. Nah, dude. Not at all. You missed the beginning. Nah, dude. We're still in the beginning, bro. We're still in the beginning. Stream just barely started less than 15 minutes ago. 
You know, we haven't even seen a Chansey yet. So, like, you didn't miss a thing, man. You haven't missed a single thing. Welcome on in. Jacob, it's nice to meet you, dude. Welcome on in. Thank you so much for that follow, bro. I really appreciate that. My name is Scotty. I'm a shiny hunter here on TikTok. You're going to have to let me know. Uh, do you enjoy shiny hunting? Or are you more of like a, uh, you know, go through the story kind of person with Pokemon games? Or what's your favorite Pokemon game? I would love to hear from that from the chat. That would be awesome. But, you know, another another really great shiny that I would like to find is Pinsir. I, would, it, I think it would be really cool to see a shiny Pinsir. Part of me is thinking if I find a shiny Chansey, dude... I'm just going to leave it on the screen for the entire stream and just shiny try to see if I can get another shiny in the fire red copy. Um so we can have two shinies at the same time. Like I think that would be I think that would be I think that I think that's the play, you know, because the thing about Chansey guys is um you know, if you find a shiny Chansey, the only way that you're going to keep that shiny Chansey, this isn't exactly true, but, you know, the, the best odds that you're going to keep that shiny Chansey is just by not turning off your DS and not throwing a Pokeball, not letting it flee, just letting it sit on your screen forever. That is the best way, one of the most efficient ways of actually keeping that shiny Chansey in your life, because otherwise it'll run. It'll just run away from you. So we'll we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, I just I would love that. I think that would be cool. Plus, it would be really cool if if we could manage to get like two shinies on the screen at the same time that would be crazy could you imagine just give it a treat and let it be exactly dude seriously it just wants to live its life man it wants to run roam free and and frolic through the through the zones so just let it frolic you know that's what i say currently on a mewtwo hunt it took forever to get through the post game though oh dude i hear you man dude yeah no the post game in uh Let's see, I'm, I'm assuming Fire Red, Leaf Green, it's Tony, or which, uh, which game are we talking about for a Mewtwo hunt? Green eggs and scam. <laughs> oh, dude. And Fire Red, let's go, dude. The 81, 92, how many counters are you at? Are you keeping track? Dude, that's awesome, man. I'm excited to do that hunt at some point here. I think that's going to be a really good time. We got a Doduo and a Neat Arena. Where's the shiny Snorlax? I know you have it, lol. Dude, I do have it. We got him right here. Nope. Oh, don't use cut because that'll that'll uh, damage the grass. We got Rupees. We got Faron. We got Kokiri, the shiny Venusaur. Ferocious, the Dragonair. Dampe, the Gengar. And of course, Big Goron, the shiny Snorlax. That, that Snorlax is like a crowning moment in my uh, in my playthrough, for sure. In my SBQ. He's just, he's just a good guy. Maria, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate that. Welcome on in. It is nice to meet you. Hopefully you're doing well on this fantastic, it's only Monday, isn't it? Yeah, it's only Monday. Monday evening or Tuesday morning, wherever you are in the world. And thank you so much for the finger hearts. I really appreciate that. That's super kind of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And welcome on in. So jealous I remember the encounter. <laughs> I love the Zelda names. My dog is named Zelda. Oh, dude, let's go, man. I love that. What a good name for a dog, seriously. Did you see the news for the new Zelda game that's coming out in like, Two months i'm so excited i can't wait i think we're gonna play it live i don't know how that's gonna work because i'm i'm typically you know like i've built my channel off of like pokemon specifically in shiny hunting um but i don't know like the vod squad over on youtube right now i was really i loved i i didn't expect to get such a positive uh reaction from the vod squad so like i don't know like maybe maybe we do that maybe we do some uh some live streams of the new game and uh, post VODs for it on, on the YouTube. I don't know. I'm open, you know. So, so fair. Uh, definitely trying to branch out. YouTube is popping for lives. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm wanting to jump over to YouTube and do some lives over there for sure. You know, but um, I, I, am, I have been, uh, not going to lie, I've been kind of neglecting the TikTok community um, just because I've had a lot of life lately. So, you know, it is one of those things where I'm just really wanting to reconnect with everybody on TikTok because I have been away for a really long time. I am posting the VODs over on YouTube. So if you do want to, you know, if you're shiny hunting and you're looking for some shinies and you're just wanting something to watch, um, we've got several hours of content of just shiny hunting and uh, me streaming. It's in a horizontal format. Um, so you can definitely check that out. Holly, it's nice to meet you. Welcome on in. My name is Scotty. It's good to meet you. Welcome on in. How are you doing tonight? Hopefully you're doing well. If you're shiny hunting in the safari zone alongside us tonight, uh, or this week for safari week, you're going to have to let me know who your target is. Would love to see. You caught a shiny side deck? Dude, Andrew, let's go, man. Which game? Yeah, Maria's, Maria's got it right. Which game? 
you finally get to play a Zelda. Dude, I'm seriously so excited. I missed your comment, Maria. Sorry about that. I'm so excited for the game. I, that is going to be so fun. I can't wait for it. Plus, it's in the same art style as the Link's Awakening remake, which I'm a big fan of. I know that there's, you know, kind of some mixed opinions on it. I've seen some people say that they love it. I've seen other people say that they hate it. I'm on the I love it side of that spectrum. So I'm, I'm really excited to be able to, to see that. Lad's back in again, dude. Let's go. How's it going, dude? Welcome on into the stream. So good to see your face. Welcome on in, Laz. Same. I'm playing Link's Awakening right now. Dude, I was, I've, I'm like 99% done with a playthrough. I've, I've gone through Link's Awakening. Um, I'm really trying to go through it without dying. And um, I'm trying to 100% it, you know? So, like, do everything. Uh, get everything. I've been following um, Austin John plays uh, at every, like every section to make sure that I haven't missed anything. Um, great YouTuber. I love his content, by the way. I'm sure you guys are following him. If uh, if you're not, you know, do yourself the favor. Uh, drop him a follow for some uh, some video game news and uh, Nintendo stuff. Um, but yeah, yeah, he's got a couple of series where he does like 100% of the games and they're great to just kind of follow along with. Um, what I like to do is like play through the game knowing where like his chapters are. He usually does it like at the end of a, of a boss fight or something and trying to 100% it on my own. And then after I've done everything that I feel like I've done, like watch his episode to see if I forgot anything. Um, that's what I enjoy doing. But like, yeah, so I've been doing that. Um, I'm nearly done with the 100% playthrough of Link's Awakening. I just, you know, uh, the uh, semester started uh, and I just haven't had time to pick it back up. You know, that's a great strategy. It's honestly so fun. Like, I love it. I love it. What are you trying to do here? Colin, I'm so sorry, man. I missed your message, dude. Uh, and also, hello. How's it going, Majestic? Good to see you. Uh, the games are Fire Red and Leaf Green. They are on the Game Boy Advance. I've got them plugged into my DS that has a capture card installed on it. We got a Kangaskhan and a Rhyhorn encounter, neither of which are shiny. Um, but yes, we are shiny hunting. It is Safari Week this week, which is an event held by the shiny... Well, it, hosted by Absol Blogs, um, a.k.a. Matt. Um, and, uh, yeah, you know, we're just in the safari zone this week. We're going to be live every single day and, uh, we're going to be trying to find as many shinies as we can in the safari zone where it is very high risk, very high reward. Hopefully we can find something and, uh, have it decide that it wants to be our friend and stay with us instead of running away and, uh, and, and leaving us, uh, leaving us behind, you know, so we'll have to see. Colin, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. It means a ton. Welcome on in. Hopefully you're doing well. This fantastic. I still can't believe it's only Monday uh, in my neck of the woods. Monday evening. It feels like today has been long enough to be uh, three days. I the the I thought that I have five more days until the weekend is actually kind of depressing. Let's not think about it. Let's shiny hunt Pokemon. <laughs> That's the strat, you know. Kangaskhan would be cool, dude. I'm really hopeful we get the Kangaskhan. That would be a really great shiny, dude. I, uh, I keep forgetting that we're in area two right now in that game. So that is a possibility. That is the 4% encounter. Um, so it would be a rare shiny for sure. Um, that would be really sweet. That would be cool to see. Pinsir would also be really cool to see. Would love to see that. We're also in the 4% for Pinsir. Still hoping for Rhyhorn. I think we're going to find a Rhyhorn at some point. I think we're going to find a Rhyhorn at some point. Chat, honestly, like, listen, I love shiny hunting in, uh, in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Uh, I think that Heart Gold and Soul Silver have the best safari zones, period. They are the, like, out of all of the safari zones, if you're wanting to shiny hunt, like, if you have a copy of uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, those are the best games for Safari Week. But hear me out, chat. Part of me just wants to focus on Fire Red and Leaf Green this year like just stream fire red and leaf green and really try to just you know get some of these like really cool encounters that we've never seen you know like uh the king Gascon, the pincer maybe see a chancy try to get that rhyhorn reclaim find the eggs finally you know like there's so many good shinies in this zone that we haven't found yet and i think it would be a lot of fun to do that heart gold Soul silver are the best pokemon games in general you are not wrong i love that so much i love them so much are you gonna do fishing at all the dratini line maria i, I you know i uh, i i am so tempted i think that would be so cool the issue is um i let me show you 
let me show you because I know you're new here. Um, this is my on this game right here. This is my uh, my uh, shiny badge quest copy of the game. So we've got rupees, the shiny uh, shiny Persian, Pharon, the shiny prime ape. Uh, wait, hold on. I think you saw this because we've been talking about Zelda. What am I talking about? But I've already got a shiny Dragonair. I got it from Celadon City. I didn't get it from um, the Safari Zone. So it would be really cool to find a shiny in the Safari Zone, like a shiny Dra Dratini or Dragonair. But like, I would, I would rather not go for a dupe. You know, I guess I could pull a lance and go through that. You know, um, you just you just go through with two shiny Dragonites at the Elite Four. <laughs> That'd be legendary, actually. That'd be sick. <laughs> oh, that'd be so cool. Um, that's what you name your Dratini, dude. Let's go. It's such a good name for Dratini. It's such a good one. Yeah, you know, that's the issue, though. I've already got one. So, like, I don't know. Like, that would be fun. That'd be so cool. Could you imagine if we got a shiny Dratini? That'd be so cool for Safari Week. That'd be awesome. But I, like, I just don't... I don't need it as much as I need like some of the original shinies, you know, like I've never seen a Nidoran female shiny uh, or a Nidorina. Um, there's just a lot that we need to get here. So I'd rather go for those than go for the dupe, you know, uh, that'd be crazy. But don't. Uh, yeah, I got to got to avoid those dupes. Yeah, you know, yeah, but that would be so cool, dude. I, that would be so funny going through the Elite Four two shiny Dragonite. That would be so cool. That would be sweet. <laughs> what a way to go through a shiny badge quest, seriously. We got Venonat and Nidoran. Neither of those are shiny. Oh, I'm not even in the grass. Did I use the white flute in my leaf green? I know I just reset the, uh, the safari zone. I feel like I used the white flute. It doesn't hurt. I didn't. I definitely did not. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Billy. Uh, yeah, I felt like I did, but you know, it's just it's just muscle memory, honestly. Um, I need to be better at uh, making sure about that, but it doesn't. I, you know, it definitely helps, so it's worth doing. But sometimes, you know, like you get the encounters anyway. You know, just help speed it up. Ooh, what is your favorite place in all of Pokemon? You know, I really love, I'm going to be very specific with you, um, and it's just because it is just a vibe. I think it is such a cool area. Okay, actually, there's a couple of really cool areas. I'm going to be, I'm going to be very specific with you, though, uh, because growing up, um, Pokemon Silver was my first Pokemon game, my first Pokemon game, um, where I didn't have to, like, you know, reset my siblings' copies of Pokemon in order to play. Um, it was my original copy. And when I made it, oh gosh, Scyther, for a second, for a second, that looked shiny to me. It's not, but it looked it. That's the 1% Scyther. Um, anyway, when I finally made it to uh, uh, Claire uh, in Pokemon Silver for the final gym badge, and I entered into the Dragon's Den, and I heard... The music for the Dragon's Den, specifically the uh, this this Gen Two version, not the Gen Four. The Gen Four is still good, don't get me wrong. But the Gen Two version of the Dragon's Den, I put that game on full blast music, and I set it down, and I just vibed. It was such a great, like it was just one of those moments where you're just like, wow, this is this is a great song, you know? Like that is good. Um, so I would, I would say that is my favorite place in all of Pokemon since like, you know, um, you know, since I was very young, right? Um, in more modern day of Pokemon, I really love Kitakami. I think Kitakami is really cool. Um, I think the whole like area there, like it's got really fun, um, and toxic mix in the background. Wait, hold on. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know. I missed it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, dude, it's just kind of one of those things. I I'm very I lo I love that area. Um, Kitakami's got like great Pokemon spawns. I feel like it's just such a fun area to explore. I had a lot of fun with that. Also, the Blueberry Academy was a lot of fun to explore for sure. Um, yeah. 
Uh, how is Toxic playing? Hold up. Hold up. It shouldn't be. How is Toxic playing? How did my Spotify get up, bro? It was like a Pokemon mix. It definitely wasn't. My Spotify turned on. Uh, so that's not great. <laughs> my bad. I don't know how that happened. Whoopsie. Yeah, we're listening to some of my running playlist. Get up on the floor. <laughs> Is it better now? Is everything good? Hold up, I can turn back on the music. Um, that is embarrassing. I mean, I'm not embarrassed about my running playlist, but like, uh, hopefully we don't get flagged for that. So that was an accident. Definitely not intentional. Um, dear TikTok, I, I'm very sorry. Uh, I will have to edit that out of the uh, the YouTube video uh, for the VOD because that is uh, we're not that's not cool. <laughs> I do not want to, uh, I don't want that. At least it was PG, yeah, no, for sure. I thought it was intentional, no, definitely not. No, definitely not. I really try so hard not to, I don't want any like flags or anything like that with like a copyright. You know, I take it very seriously. I do not have the authorization from Britney to play Toxic or from Macklemore to play any of his music. So I apologize. I do not own those songs. That's not me. <laughs> Sorry guys. My bad, chat. My bad. Makes you a real man, though. Bro, Toxic is so good. It's a great running song, man. That's a real good one. I love it. It's been on my playlist since high school, bro. <laughs> I can't... It's just good, man. That's a great running song. Yeah, we stand Toxic, seriously. Seems more chill than YouTube, at least. I mean, hopefully that's the case, right? Like, I'd really hope that that's the case. Ranger, how's it going? Welcome on in. It's good to see your face here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to remember to edit that. Um, I'm gonna write a note, because otherwise I will forget. Um... Let's see. It's about 31 minutes okay i can cut that out um and then we'll just uh we'll just kind of go from there <laughs> chris no you dude you have no idea man uh imagining scotty mumbling and humming toxic while running dude so on saturday right i was running uh 12 12.4 miles um i was getting to the end of the run and I am just dragging. I am struggling. It was rough. I was like, I was exhausted. Um, but it was just, it was just the end of the run, right? And I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it. Um, so what ended up happening was, um, are you a Hamilton fan? How many Hamilton fans are in the chat? If you guys don't know this about me, I'm a huge Hamilton fan. I love Hamilton, the musical. I read the uh, the uh, biography after after listening to the musical, um, just because like I became like literally obsessed. Um, the uh, Hamilton soundtrack, a lot of the songs are on my running playlist because I find them very motivational while I'm running, as well as a lot of the songs from uh, The Greatest Showman um, are on my running playlist as well because again they're very motivational, right? Um, but the Ten Dual Commandments uh, came on while I was running and legit uh there's nobody around me on the trail right fortunately because I probably like looked like you know like a crazy person but in order to get myself like moving a little bit I literally started sit like not singing but like rapping along with the ten dual commandments and it was a really good running song because you know it's like it's counting right so it was just like number one and then it goes through all of it I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rap for you guys I'm gonna spare you guys the uh, need to purchase ear bleach um, but it it was just so good it was just like one of those moments where like I literally like I went from a 11 and a half minute mile pace to an eight minute mile pace because like I was in the moment you know so like it was it was it was top tier dude uh, Pokemon rap when <laughs> <laughs> are you shiny hunting i am yes i am shiny hunting thank you marie i appreciate you answering the question i i apologize i was a little distracted in the moment uh but welcome on in it's good to see you welcome on in i cubed 
It's a little bit more than cubed. Uh, I want a Nidoran or an Execute. Dude, I would I would love that, dude. A Nidoran male? Dude, that would be sick. That would be a dupe, man. But here's the thing, dude. Like, any of the dupes would be actually, like, top tier, right? Because, like, we have... Um, whatever shiny we get is the next shiny for the uh, SBQ. So even if we get a Nidoran male and it is a dupe, it's still going to advance the playthrough, which is really exciting. Uh, did you see the team? The team? The team? Did you catch any shinies so far? Not yet, dude. Safari week started at on Friday, um, and I am 3,462 encounters in so far, plus two now, so 3,464, and no shinies for me yet. You know, Nido King would be amazing for the SBQ. Dude, yeah, those are two totally unique. No, okay. One totally unique type for the ground type. Um, it would be amazing for the SBQ, dude. You, that would go so hard, bro. Oh, your Pokemon team? I must have missed the comment. I'm sorry, Ranger. Uh, shiny badge quest. Getting a shiny before every gym. There's our first Chansey of the stream. Chansey number one. Marking that down on the counter because I want to know. That's the 1% Chansey. Now just remember, chat, if we get another Chansey right now, that is rarer than finding a shiny Pokemon. That's not a Chansey. The last I checked, Venonat is not a Chansey. Uh, Ranger, thank you for the follow, bro. I really appreciate that. Welcome on in. Good to have the, I appreciate the follow. It means a ton. We've got a Rhyhorn and a Doduo pending. Pending. A Zubat in a cave? Wait, hold on. I'm missing something. What was y'all's first shiny? Yo! Oh, dude. Mm. I don't think you want to hear that story. That that story is really sad. It's it's My story is really sad when it comes to that. My first ever shiny. Um, yeah. Sad days. Tell it, though. Chansey is a 1%. That's wild. Yeah, dude, it's a 1% encounter, dude. He is a rough find, you know, but finding that shiny Chansey in the 1%, bro, that would be amazing, dude. Can we hear this story? All right, I'll tell you guys the story, but you got to promise not to cry too hard, okay? There's another Chansey. That was totally, totally back to back. Wow. Whoa. What a what a shiny reaction. Just gal was good. It's good to see your face. Welcome in. in. Got to tell the story, bro. All right, I'll tell you guys the story. So here's the thing. You know, a lot of people, when they're telling you their first shiny story, a lot of people, you know, like back in the day, shinies were not necessarily the most like uh, well-known thing. You know, like people didn't realize that shinies were legitimate. Other than the red Gyarados, people kind of thought it was just kind of like a one-off thing, right? Um, but um, not me. I knew what shinies were. I was I I had a I had a guidebook for Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, and I swear to you, this guidebook showed me every single Pokemon as well as every single Pokemon's shiny sprite. So learning that Mew was blue when it was shiny was like super cool to me, dude. I I got that from like like my handbook, dude. I was like, that's so cool. So I knew that shinies existed. I knew that they were real. I just didn't think that like you could really get them legitimately in the game. I guess or something I don't know anyway I'm playing through Pokemon fire red and I'm playing through the game at a time where I'm younger and I'm not really building a team um, I'm literally selling every single pokeball that I find to buy potions so I can just like you know go through the game with my like way significantly over leveled Charizard um, and I make it all the way to like the Sevi islands and I find a shiny Oddish in the wild and I had like like I said I knew that it was shiny I knew that it wasn't like a glitch or anything but I legit had zero pokeballs because I sold them all for potions for Charizard like legit potions and or revives um so big sad moment failed my first shiny uh aside from the Blake of Rage shiny Gyarados um so yeah that's my story it's very sad it's very, very sad. Mine was Graveler and OG Pokemon Red, 130 hours of gameplay. And that's the only shiny. Dude, that's craziness. We got a Kangaskhan who is not shiny. I thought my game glitched, so I let the Game Boy die, dude. I know, I hear that story so often. It's so sad. It is so sad. 
I thought you were going to tell me you caught it on the day someone died or something. Oh, no, dude, no. No, <laughs> fortunately not. Everybody, everybody stayed alive that day. I found three shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Gold. Dude, I love Pokemon Gold. I was actually like, I really, man, I want to do like a shiny badge quest in OG Pokemon Crystal. Like I have, my brother-in-law gave me um, his uh, copy of Pokemon Crystal on the Game Boy Color. Um, and I would love to like go through and do a shiny badge quest in that game. Um, but my biggest concerns are number one, I do not have a means to really be able to like stream that game. Um, and number two, it would break my heart to find a shiny in a Pokemon game that I literally have no ability to transfer it up to future gens. Like I would be so sad to lose that shiny in Pokemon Crystal because it's just locked on the on that cartridge you know like no chance of it ever going up unless i think that there's a way that like you can get like a device for your computer to be able to like transfer the codes up to future ga games um i just don't have the means for that you know i don't have that device that i would need for that so no no shot for me crystal is my all-time favorite pokemon game no specific reason i just love it dude i love pokemon crystal dude it was so cool when i was younger and i got pokemon crystal and like I booted up the game, you know, I got my starter Pokemon. I'm going over to uh, to Mr. Pokemon's house or whatever his name is, right? Um, and I encounter a Sentret. And all of a sudden, on my screen, the Sentret moves. My mind, little like young Scotty's mind was blown. And I like, I ran over to my brother and I was just like, they move in this game like the, they, they moved there, there was an there was I didn't I didn't know the word animation you know but like they had an animation and it, I had never seen that before in a Pokemon game and my brother didn't believe me he didn't believe me initially he was just like yeah okay no they don't because like it's static in the battle right but like when you encounter it it moves and so like I told my brother and he was just like yeah no they don't they're they don't move and I believed him because like he totally didn't believe me and he's my older brother, you know? And so anyway, it was it was one of those things where like he totally like uh, kind of gaslit me unintentionally. <laughs> and I believed him until I started playing the game again and realized, oh wait, no, they actually do move. Um, so anyway, like mind blown. But yeah, no, Pokemon Crystal is a great game. Absolutely love that game, dude. Such a good one. I would play it. I've got it on the 3DS. Um, but yeah, dude. Any luck yet? No luck for me yet. No shinies for Scotty. You know, but you know what? We're not even at half odds yet. You know, we still got some time. Geese, we still got some time. Gaslighting isn't real. Whoever told you that is crazy, right? <laughs> Jesus, please be. <laughs> not a shiny Paris. Not a shiny Rhyhorn. Uh, did y'all ever get an accidental shiny, uh, legendary? Mine was Terrakion and Sword DLC. Dude, let's go, man. Was it the, uh, um, Dynam it had to be Dynamax Adventures. Wait, no, wait. Yeah, Terrakion's Dynamax Adventures, right? Uh, I feel like Terrakion is Dynamax Adventure. Eddie was good. Still so many memories of Pokemon Silver. Dude, let's go. No, it's not? It's in a cave? Oh, dude, I haven't played Pokemon Sword and Shield in a while, bro. Dude, that's sick, man. GG's on the shiny. Dude, Kyogre's such a good shiny too, man. I love Dynamax Adventures, guys. I need to I need to make some more of those. Get some more of that content in there. I love Dynamax Adventures. It's such a good time. I think I were talk we were talking about that a little bit yesterday. So I use the Pokeball? Dude, absolutely. That's amazing. I would too. Accidental shiny Entei. Wasn't sure if it could still be shiny when I ran into it again. Dude, which game was that in, dude? That's amazing. Shiny I've always wanted is Lugia. Dude, I love shiny Lugia, man. I love shiny Lugia. Back in the day, dude, I was doing Dynamax Adventures on TikTok for a shiny Lugia. That's a that's a happy memory. The Strawberry Titan. That's a happy memory. It's a good time. I had a lot of fun with those. <laughs> I love Incineroar shiny, dude, it's so good. Mine was shiny Mewtwo and Fire Red. Oh, what a good shiny to get. I'm excited to hunt that eventually. I think that's gonna be a really good time. We got a Nidoran and an Execute. Me and Shadow are over odds for Lugia. Oh no, for DAs or for like, 
All right, 118. Oh, my dude. I wish there was a way to shiny help you. There is. It's just not necessarily like the easiest thing to do. So here's the thing, man. Okay, like I, I've I've talked about this a lot. You know, I genuinely do not know why we do not have ports of Gen 1 through 3 on the Nintendo Switch, right? My hope is that we do get ports this year. I hope. I, there's still a chance. I don't know. Who knows, right? But here's the thing. Uh, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate the follow, by the way, Philip Moore. It means a ton. Welcome on in. My name is Scotty, and I'm a shiny hunter here on TikTok. You can also find me over on YouTube. And, uh, and in my Discord as well. Be able to join that, you know. Uh, links to all of those are in my link tree on the description. Um, of my profile page. Anyway, um, what I was saying is if they do ports of uh, Pokemon, you know, Emerald specifically. My hope is that Pokemon Emerald gets the same treatment that Pokemon Crystal got for the port of that game on the 3DS. Which would be giving the players the ticket to go and catch Mew at Mystery Island or Faraway Island, whatever it's called. I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, if they did that, you can shiny hunt that Mew. You have to do the runaways for it, and it's a little, you know, again, like, you can do it in, in Emerald right now if you've got a Game Boy Advance with Emerald, but you need that ticket in order to get over there, or you need a Game Shark to, like, get that ticket in. Um, but yeah, it's not necessarily the easiest thing to do in the world. So yeah, no, I hear you. I want to be able to shiny hunt Mew so bad. I have looked into like seeing if there's a way that I can like hack my way onto that island uh, to find a shiny Mew. I just, I am not, I don't, I, I can't, I, I am not able to do it, unfortunately. No know-how on how to do that is what it is. Guys, by the way, thank you so much for the 11,000 likes on the stream. I just saw that. Thank you so much. Might be worth lol. Mew is my baby. Yeah, dude. Really? Hmm. Yeah, no, 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 no cap. No cap at all. I'm not joking one bit. Um, actually, um, John Stone, if you're familiar with him, um, he is a, uh, he's a Pokemon content creator over on YouTube. Uh, I love his content. He's got such great content. Great. I love his humor too. Like, uh, anyway, um, he posted a video very recently about his adventure finding a shiny Mew, an authentic shiny Mew in Pokemon Emerald. Um, and I highly recommend it. It is a great watch. Um, but yeah, it's his story of how he how he found the shiny Mew. Uh, it's great. It's it's good. I loved it. It was awesome. I'll have to check that out. Go check it out. It, yeah, yeah. Action replay is like a it's like a game shark, you know. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, Reese got it. Reese got it. I read it backwards. Uh, little cousin was a uh, shiny shaman. No. Oh no, KOing the shiny shaman, dude. That's so sad. I haven't hunted that in BDSP yet, dude. I gotta do that. That is on my agenda. I've got a lot of like a lot on my agenda to shiny hunt for at some point. Uh the the Arceus in uh in BDSP. We gotta hunt for that. Haven't got that yet. Um what's good, Thomas? Welcome on to the stream. It's good to see your face here. How's your uh, Monday evening been? Monday evening or Tuesday morning, wherever it is in the world for you. I hope you're having a good one. Um, here's my Pokemon team. Greninja, Ferrothorn, Gengar, Tyranitar, Beware, and Flygon. Dude, what a good team, man. That is excellent. I did a double take on that Kangaskhan, dude, for a second. In the corner of my eye, it came across the screen. There's another Chansey! Number three of the evening. Good to see you, Chansey. Welcome on in. Hey, Hera. How's it going, Hera boss? Good to see ya. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Nidoran and Venonat. No shinies. Back then, I saw a shiny Abra teleport. Dude. That's rough, buddy. That's rough, buddy. That's rough. Abra's mean that way, dude. I'm so glad that, like, Ralts learn like Ralts learns teleport but like not at a point where like it'll uh affect you in pokemon ruby emerald or sapphire <laughs> or uh or omega ruby and alpha sapphire too because that was uh that was scary we should have a chance to capture i do yeah it's just off camera yeah it's literally just on my uh, my desk my desk can do uh um like dry erase markers 
Um, so I, I literally, I have, uh, I've got notes just written on my desk for things that I like need to do. Uh, and I decided to have a little bit of a chancy counter, uh, just off to the side. <laughs> so, yeah, is what it is. Uh, do you stream elsewhere? You know, uh, I do. Um, currently, I'm only live here on TikTok. I really wanted to uh, spend some time with the TikTok community because I've been away for a while. Um, so for the last few days, I've been live every single day here on TikTok for Safari Week. Um, I also stream over on YouTube. Um, and I'm posting the VODs over on YouTube as well. So if you've missed the live streams and you're wanting to watch something while you're doing your own shiny hunts, I've got all the VODs over there. If you'd like my content, you can check them out over there. Um, I've got like a live stream vault where all the VODs get posted. Um, so yeah, be sure to check it out if that's something you're interested in, you know. Um, I was really happy to see the, uh, the VOD squad over on YouTube give like such positive, uh, you know, they, they were very, they, they were very positive with the, uh, with the uh, the the vods being posted there, I, I wasn't expecting that. You know, I always thought that you know people wouldn't want to see that, so like I never posted them. Um, but no, people seem very excited about the vods, so I was happy to see that. You know, so I'm excited to post this one after the stream, after I edit out uh, my accidental Spotify playlist. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, will do. Thanks, man. Appreciate that, dude. Yeah, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel because I also will be posting content there, especially with uh, Pokemon um, Pokemon Legends Arc. Nope, Pokemon Legends ZA. I'm not getting. I'm not used to that yet. With Pokemon Legends ZA releasing next year, I'm going to be posting a lot of content about that. Um, hey, boss. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome on in. Good to have you here. Thank you so much, man. Have I ever considered doing radio? No, I haven't actually. Uh, do you think I'd be good at that? I'd be good with a career change. <laughs> we got a Nidorino and a Nidoran. I need to get some water, chat. Two seconds. <clears throat> okay, Nidorino and an egg. My encounters are still going up, right? I think we got it. I think we're doing good. You do have a great voice. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. That's very kind of you, gal. Just gal. That's very kind of you. I honestly, I was looking at this the other day. I just had a minute like where I wasn't working on homework. Um, and you know what it was? There was a show on uh, Disney Plus. Um, oh man, uh, guys, I'm forgetting his name. Guys, okay, so uh, Lord of the Rings, okay? Uh, the Hobbit uh, Pippin, the actor who plays Pippin in Lord of the Rings, he is doing like a... Uh, a documentary or he's like the narrator for a documentary going over like uh, pirates and the history of pirates uh, it was a show on Disney Plus honestly gr I love documentaries and it was so fun listening to him you know like uh, talk about like pirates of old you know like uh, so that was a lot of fun um, and it made me start to think like you know how cool would it be to actually like do some voice acting you know like maybe maybe get a like contract with audible and uh do some books read some books on audible i feel like that would be a ton of fun um i don't think that i've got the uh the skills with like voice acting like with like different characters like i feel like i would really struggle like creating a character and like having that bo voice be consistent um but i think that would be so fun like what a what a way to like that, what what a creative use of of, uh, of a talent like I love that. that that's so cool but it was really cool to hear uh, to hear my good friend Pippin you know it was also it was always good 10 out of 10 would listen to you narrate a book I appreciate that thank you so much oh I want to watch that my pirates knowledge is from our flag means hey let's go no I highly recommend the show seriously like it was it was really fun uh, the first episode is about Blackbeard the second one was a pirate that I'd never heard about before um, I always get her name wrong uh, it's Grace O'Malley I think or O'Reilly oh man I'm kicking myself I wasn't prepared for this quiz it was incredible i loved her story her story was so cool um but yeah highly recommend it it was super good love that show if you're into documentaries i like to i like to watch documentaries like while i'm folding laundry and stuff while i'm working on some chores uh highly recommend it it was a really good time another chancy dude uh, we got four chancy how's it going welcome to the stream fourth chancy of the stream i feel like we're getting them pretty quick right now 
Um, what's your opinion on shiny Raiolu? Uh, I take it that you saw my uh, my recent or not not my recent, uh, but my uh, my my uh, short from last year. My experience with shiny Raiolu from last year. <laughs> no. Check it out on my page. It's pinned. Uh, it's one of it, I think it's the second pin right now. Shiny Raiolu is over there. Um, I'll answer your question. Raiolu is awesome. I love Shiny Raiolu. Um, what is Safari Week? User, great question. Safari Week is a uh, it is a, it is an event held by Shiny Hunters. It is a high risk, high reward event uh, where Shiny Hunters will go into the Safari Zone to try to find Shiny Pokemon. The catch with Safari Week is if you find a Shiny Pokemon, it does not guarantee that you can actually catch the Shiny Pokemon. Uh, there is a chance that all Pokemon. Uh, could run away from you. They could flee. So you can find a shiny here in the Safari Zone, and uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that you can catch it. So people will go to the Safari Zone for a week, uh, plus a couple of days, and uh, we all fail shinies together. And it's a really good, it's really fun. I it, it, it doesn't sound fun in that light, right? But like, honestly, like, it is such a fun community event and it's just it's great it is my favorite event of the year we do not snooze on safari week um i will be streaming every single day for safari week uh that's the plan unless anything changes i'll post it in the discord to let y'all know um another chancy dude what the heck number five dude love to see that um but yeah, like I said, I've been I, I'm planning on streaming every single day for Safari Week. After Safari Week ends, I do not guarantee, I cannot guarantee that I'll be able to stream on the daily. Um, but I will be streaming more frequently, so I'm excited about that. Um, what are the chances of that? <laughs> that was good. That's a good one. We need that green chancy, dude. If we get that one percent green chancy, bro. <sighs> Man, I think my vocal cords are already tired. I can't imagine like how shot they're gonna be after that. That would be quite the experience, man. I'm telling you that right now. I think I would lose it. I think I would lose it. We want the shiny egg. I just saw that Raiolu vid. Dude, oh man, that Raiolu. Oh, I gotta get that reclaim, dude. That is one Pokemon that I just, what a cool way to find Raiolu. A shiny Raiolu in, uh, in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, you know? Gen 4, shiny Raiolu. I love it. I think it's so cool. I'm so glad that he's spawning in my uh, Safari Zone. I think that's great. I'm very excited to eventually uh, be able to get that reclaim. I think that will be a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying being in the Kanto Safari Zone right now, though. So, like, part of me doesn't even want to go over to Johto yet. Like, I just want to. I just want to hang here, find a shiny in here. Like, maybe find a couple because there are so many targets in Fire Red and Leaf Green that have been ev evading me for so long. Um, and it would be really great to start kind of crossing some of those off of the list, you know? Uh, but we'll have to see. Got away safely. Um, but yeah, guess it's all up to Chansey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Dudes. Uh, I can't believe we've seen five in 400 encounters. Five and four, dude. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Like, that's, uh, that's better than the odds, you know? What are the odds? Another chance, yo! All we had to do was ask. How's it going, uh, my friend? Oh, I just wanna, I just wanna have a conversation with you. You know, you're looking good. So good to see you. Oh, man, what a good friendship we have. It's just, you're just so great, you know? Not a shiny. Oh, that Riolu vid hurt. <laughs> that one did hurt, actually, not gonna lie. Uh, that one did hurt a little bit, you know, like, I think I, I think I recovered quickly from it, but, uh, that was, I think that was after my shiny Chansey fail in Soul Silver as well. So that, that, that definitely hurt, you know, Soul Silver was not necessarily the nicest game to me last year, uh, but, uh, you know, it's so fun. It's so fun. And I mean that genuinely, you know, like it's, I genuinely love Safari Week. I think it is such a fun time. We got a pincer and a Paris. No shinies there. Uh, my little cousins deleted my Pokemon Platinum save file. Uh, I had a shiny Porygon Z. Oh no! Oh bro, that is that's so sad. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Uh, can we get rips in the chat for the lost shiny Porygon Z? Um, I was the worst. Um, I didn't drop frames, but it totally froze on me. 
Uh, oh, thanks for the heart me. Appreciate that, Demos. Thank you so much, dude. Means a ton. Thank you so much for that heart me. Uh, yeah, big rip. Big rip. Let's go. How's it going, man? It's good to see you in the chat. Hey, by the way, Spoopy Demos, um, the uh, the mod squad, or not the mod squad. Well, yeah, actually the mod squad. We'll, we'll get back to that. Um, I just discovered that I am drastically underutilizing my stickers <laughs> for uh, for the uh, for the TikToks, you know? Thank you for the GG's, Cadet Root and the Crown Just Gal. I really appreciate that, dude. Um, so keep an eye on these stickers after. Um, there's going to be more added here. I didn't know that I had 35 slots. <laughs> I thought I only had three. So I thought I was using the max capacity. <laughs> <laughs> Little did I know, dude, I've got like so many. So anyway, we've got a bunch of stickers that we've got on the Discord. We're going to be porting a lot of those over here. Um, so yeah, keep an eye on that. Thank you for the hat and the mustache. Appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, no, no shiny yet. No shiny yet, Andrew. But you know what? It's all good. It's all good. We're, we're less than halfway to odds. We're having a good time. The Pukamuku sticker is so cute. Thank you. I love that Pukumuku sticker. Honestly, Pukumuku is one of my favorite Pokemon. I love him so much. I have a shiny Pukumuku. I hunted for him in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon using the SOS method. And I appropriately named him Melon Lord. <laughs> Great shiny Pokemon. I love Melon Lord. I believe Melon Lord is currently on a field trip in uh, Pokemon Scar or no, Pokemon Sword and Shield, visiting the Galar region. Um, which is a good time. Uh, do you do Twitch stream as well or no? Uh, no, I do not. I do not stream on Twitch. I do stream on YouTube. I do have a YouTube channel as well that I'm working on building up. Um, I would love to get to 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Ultimately, I think it would be awesome to like get the YouTube play button. You know, like 100,000 subs is what I would need in order to do that. Um, I do not know. I, I do not know uh, how uh, that sounds like an insane number to me. Um, but yeah, guys, if you, if you enjoy my content, you want to see more of it, subscribe to the YouTube. I'm planning on posting some more stuff on there. Um, especially with Pokemon Legends ZA coming out here for very soon. Uh, I'm really hoping to get some stuff there. So if you want to join the YouTube, if you want to join the, uh, uh, the Discord, all of the links for that are going to be in the, uh, in the link tree on my, on my profile page. So if you go to my profile, click on the extension there, um, that will, uh, that'll be popping up. You'll be able to get there. Anyway, just a little plug there. Sorry, guys. But I do want to say thank you so much for being here, too. For choosing to spend your Monday night here. It really, truly means a lot. We got 15,000 likes on the stream. That also means a lot. Thank you, everybody who's been double tapping. All of your double taps have brought us another Chansey. Look at that, dude. Welcome on in. We got seven Chansey now. We are only at 400 encounters. We got seven and four. That is actually crazy odds, dude. We're, it's supposed to be a 1% encounter. That is crazy, dude. How many encounters uh, are you think you're going for tonight? Lazarus, I'm not sure, dude. Um, I'm not sure. You know, I, I don't know where I'm going to get to tonight. I um, am not going for a run in the morning, at least... I'm not going for a long run. I might wake up in the morning and say something otherwise. I might just choose to go for a run. Um, but, so I don't have to get up crazy early, but at the same time, I do want to honor the bedtime routine that like, I want to go to bed at a good time. You know, like I am exhausted. I, I am so tired. I have been running so much more lately because I'm training for a marathon. Um, and I honestly am just, I'm just exhausted. <laughs> not gonna lie i am so tired um but it is uh so yeah i don't know you know like i want to go to bed at a good time i don't want to be up till midnight i won't be streaming that late anyway because i usually i usually close streams at like around nine o'clock or so so we've got just over an hour i would love to get to half odds i think it would be great to get to 40 96 um but i don't know i don't know if that's what we're gonna be doing um Vibes based shiny hunting. I love it. Oh, dude. Thanks, man. I appreciate that 4,500 dude. I would love to get to 45 with only two systems. That is a little challenging You know if I had a couple more I would absolutely I would absolutely do that, you know um, But yeah with only the two that we've got right now 
not as easy as it looks, you know? Getting all those encounters in. Okay, the Spiro behind bars would be hilarious. Okay, that is hysterical, dude. That is hysterical. Let's go. Wait, Spoopy, did I miss something? We have a variety of Spiros because uh, Scotty made me a mod. <laughs> and therefore, I just added it. Whatever, lol. I, 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 guys, listen. Listen, chat. Listen, there is a danger in the Kanto region. We cannot speak of uh oh we're just excited about these sticker ideas dude i'm excited man it's gonna be good it's gonna be good i'm excited to see him seriously i'm excited to add some more too i think that's gonna be a really good time uh but but real talk here real talk real chat okay um there is a danger to the kanto region we must be very cautious ganon's seal is still firm in the uh in the pc he's still locked away in the pc he's not causing any havoc in the kanto region as of right now um, but the more that we the, listen Spiros are dangerous creatures. We cannot let Ganon be free from his prison No, we cannot free him. Why is he locked up because he's evil <laughs> Spiro is my least I, I, I don't like Spiro. I don't like Spiro at all um, And also I'm mad at Spiro because he had the audacity of being shiny um, when I was hunting for the shiny Snorlax don't ask me how I phased on a shiny Spiro when I was hunting for a soft reset shiny Snorlax. It's it's a it's a long story. It's kind of well, it's not really a long story at all. Actually, at the end of stream one day, um, I I thought it was fun to like get a little diversity. I didn't think that I would find a shiny. You know, it's kind of one of those things where it's just like you'd never expect that you're gonna find a shiny, right? Like. Um, but what ended up happening was like I did a bunch of resets for Snorlax. I was closing stream for the day, and um. Literally the last encounter that I did on stream was a shiny Spiro when I was just doing like a couple of encounters in the grass like as a, as a joke at the end of stream. I have never been more insulted <laughs> in my life. Oh, Spiro is the worst. He will be free and his reign will be eternal. <laughs> it was legit the most scripted thing you had ever done. Seriously, it seems so scripted, bro. Um, yeah, no, the, the VOD is somewhere. It's somewhere on my TikTok. It is somewhere on my YouTube. Um, it gives off real, like, um, Michael Scott vibes when Toby returns to the office. Like, real Michael Scott vibes when Toby returns to the office, I think, personally. When I was, uh, when I was editing it, I legit was like, this is just straight up stolen content from the office, I swear. Um, but anyway... Uh, the fact he literally said, I don't care what we get as long as not Spiro and like five encounters later, bam, dude, no, Demos, it was insane. Like, I, I'm sure that you saw the video. Maybe you went back and you saw it, but like legit, like every Spiro encounter, I was like disgusted. I was like, ugh, gross. Like, ugh, get that out of here. And then literally it shined. I was like, oh, oh, you were there. <laughs> it's been a minute, man. I can't remember who's been there, dude. That, oh man, I, oh, yeah. The audacity. The absolute nerve of that bird. Hello, Chansey! Uh, number eight in 600. No, 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 400. Found another shiny dude, let's go, Andrew! What did you find, bro? GG's. Thank you so much, OG1. I really appreciate that gamepad, man. That means a ton. Thank you so much, dude. Shiny Murkrow? Dude, let's go, bro! Are you kidding me right now? That's excellent, dude. J good luck. Is this in the Safari Zone? Uh, Andrew? Or am I... Is is it Safari Zone? Are you doing a Great Marsh, perchance? I think that's a Great Marsh encounter. Dude, uh, if it's Great Marsh, bro, I am wishing you all of the luck. I hope that you, uh, I hope you do not fail. Um, I think you, I think you know what, I think it is Great Marsh, right? Because you, you failed the shiny Psyduck, right? Oh, PLA. Oh, it could be PLA. It could be PLA as well. Am I am I am I crazy? Isn't um Isn't I uh, Isn't Murkrow in Great Marsh? Like at night? Isn't it possible? Yeah, I'm still playing Le Legends Arceus. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Well, good luck with the Murkrow, dude. That is such a good shiny. Haunch is so good too. I'm so excited for you, man. That's awesome, man. It's at the beach, yeah? Oh, Kodinsky failed the shiny Psyduck. You're right. You're absolutely right. Okay, you're absolutely right. Thank you for the finger hearts. 
Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. He has a beautiful purple. Dude, he's gorgeous, man. What a good shiny. Honestly, very pog shiny, not gonna lie. Dude, yeah, man. Uh, hey, uh, Resident Lurker, if you're here. Uh, how many encounters are you at, bro? He's a professional businessman. <laughs> we got a Nidoran and a Nidorino. Nidorina and a Nidorino. Please excuse me. We gotta wish we gotta wish him luck. I love that he's just the professional lurker. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I love how Honchko looks so big and bossy and boom that big. Dude, it's so good. It's such a classy shiny, honestly. Dude, he's so cool. I love it. 19,736. My man, my fingers are still crossed for you, dude. You got this. You got this. You can tell it's a Nidorino because of the weight. It's exactly yes! Vasher, yes! <laughs> Oh, I love that video so much. Oh, I love that video so much. <laughs> Neater. Neat. Wow. <laughs> I gotta send that in the Discord for anybody who hasn't, who has not had the pleasure of, of, of witnessing such quality content, such top tier content. I need to find that video again. That's such a good one. Good old YouTube, old school YouTube man. Something else. It is something else. Yo, Demos, thank you so much for the galaxy, bro. Dude, that's super kind of you, man. Thank you so much. That's super kind of you, dude. Thank you so much. Can we get a bunch of thanks in the chat for the uh, for the galaxy? Guys, that is super generous. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. It's not an expectation that anybody financially contributes to the streams or to the channel, but it really does go a long way and it makes it possible for me to be able to do this more often. So I really want to say thank you so much to uh, Demos for doing the galaxy, for doing the mustache and the hat. I really appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Super kind of you, dude. Yeah, dubs Demos. Dubs, dude. Started raining on our walk. Dude, let's go. It's bringing the heat down here in Arizona. Dude, let's go. Thank you for the game controller as well. Demos, my man. Dude, thank you so much. Big dubs in chat. Big dubs in chat. I really appreciate that, man. I really appreciate that. Level three. Dude, let's go. <laughs> oh, dude. You're far too kind, man. You are far too kind. Got a Rhyhorn and a Nidoran. Meanwhile, it's flooding where I'm at. No! Oh, no. Are you, um... Oh, man. My brother-in-law's, uh... They had to, they had to, they had to evacuate, you know. Um... Dude, thank you so much for the hand heart spoopy. Appreciate that, my dude. Yeah, did you have a different nickname during the Snorlax era? Seriously, I am curious, actually. I live in Chicago, so my weather is always crazy. Oh, shoot. Minnesota. Well, not as bad as Iowa. Okay, yeah, this is where my brother-in-law is, is in Iowa. Um, yeah, Lucas, thank you so much for the follow, dude. It's nice to meet you. Welcome on into the stream. My name is Scotty. I'm a shiny hunter here on TikTok. You can also find me over on YouTube and Instagram. All the fun stuff, you know. Appreciate you being here. It really means a ton. Welcome on in. How can I play these games on my Nintendo Switch? Oh, Tortuga, I wish. Dude, I so wish, man. Legit. I have been saying that they are going to be ported over to the Nintendo Switch, like literally since last year. The fact that we still don't have these games on the Nintendo Switch baffles me. It completely, I do not understand it. It would literally just be printing money. The Nintendo company would literally just be printing company or printing money. Um, unfortunately, as of right now, these games are not available on the Nintendo Switch. I am playing these games on their original hardware, um, the Game Boy Advanced cartridges. I am very hopeful that we get them ported over very, very soon. But only if, only if we get Pokemon Home support. That's it. That's it. If we don't get Pokemon Home support, don't give me the games. I don't want them. You know? I forgot to change names. Just Jake slash Jacob. Oh, okay. Gotcha. 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 Dude, it means a ton, man. Thank you so much for the support, dude. It's really, honestly, that's so freaking kind. I don't feel like I deserve that, but I really do appreciate you being here and sharing your support, dude. Any shiny? Not yet, man. Not yet, Jorge. Thanks for checking in, though, you know? I'm hopeful, dude. We're getting closer to half. Getting closer to half odds. We've only done about like 500 encounters tonight. We've seen eight Chansey. That is crazy to me. The odds for that are, I mean, I don't know. 
It's a 1% encounter, so Chansey really should not be that common. Um, but yeah, 8 today. Always support this stream. It's my favorite chill stream. Dude, I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Sometimes I feel like I talk too much to really be considered a chill stream. You know? I have that uh, that monologue that just just keeps giving. <laughs> you know? I don't I don't know, you know? Maybe that's just me. Do you have four systems set up last year or just two as well? Last year I did have four set up. Um, I was thinking about trying to see if I could get four um, on here by tonight's stream, but I got a little, today has been crazy. It's been a crazy day. Um, so I wasn't able to work on that today. Hopefully at some point we can get that going. I don't know though. You know, we'll have to see. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. Uh, but yeah, dude, I missed the four. Like the four encounters all at once really made the encounters go up so quick, you know? Uh, do y'all think that uh, they ruined shiny Pokemon in the new games with hunting? No, actually I don't. In fact, if you think about it, man. So, in the newest games, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, it feels like we are seeing a lot of shiny Pokemon. But the thing is, in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and also in Pokemon Legends Arceus, we are actually, for the first time, not being robbed of the shinies, right? At least for overworld encounters, right? So, uh, I, and also for, uh, I guess, uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, if you think about it as well. But in Pokemon Scar uh, Sword and Shield, all of the Pokemon that spawn in the overworld, they are their regular variant. They are not the shiny variants. But their shininess is already determined when it pops up on the screen. So all of those Pokemon in Sword and Shield that you walked past, they could have been shiny and you could have failed them. So honestly, um, while yes, the 40, I do think that if every Pokemon, like if the shininess is determined when it pops up on screen, I do wish at some times that it was like, you know, it went back to the 8192 odds. I'm not upset that it's 4096. I think that shiny hunting is great for the Pokemon community. I think that the Pokemon community really loves it. Um, and making it more easily accessible for everybody is a really good thing. I would not say that they've ruined shiny Pokemon or uh, decreased the, the value of shiny Pokemon whatsoever. Because here's the thing, right? The value of a shiny Pokemon is exactly what you give it. If you find a shiny Pokemon, that Pokemon, its value is determined by you. It's determined by the work that you put in. It's determined by how long you looked for it or if it just caught you off guard. And it meant a lot to you because, wow, you just found a random shiny Pokemon. That's awesome, right? You know? So I don't think so. I would I would argue against that personally. Maybe that's just a me thing. Maybe that's my hot take, you know? But I believe that the shiny Pokemon that you find, all of them have the value. And it's determined by the hunter. Um, that's my belief. But, you know? What do I know, right? I just work here, right? Like, I, I'm, just, I'm just a streamer, man. I'm just your average, everyday, you know, streamer, DJ with the follow, Brittany with the follow. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate that while I'm monologuing. Appreciate those follows. It's nice to meet you. My name is Scotty and I'm a shiny hunter here on TikTok. Welcome on into the stream. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday evening or Tuesday morning, wherever it is in the world for you. Hope it's a good one. If you encounter a shiny, uh, can you save that encounter so you won't lose it? Nope. Mm-mm. Nope. Not in this game. Uh, in other games, yes, you can. So, like, in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and also in Pokemon uh, Legends Arceus. I don't know of Pokemon uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. I kind of feel like no for those games. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, but, um, but, yeah, in those games, you can. Um, you can absolutely save before you get the shiny. Um... To like have that chance again because it spawns in the overworld and you can see it and it will respawn because you saved in front of it, right? Uh, so long as it doesn't like despawn in uh, Pokemon uh, Scarlet and Violet. Pokemon Legends Arceus, the despawns work very differently because they're in like sections. It's, it's you know, um, open area, not open world. So, um, yeah, so it's very different. Um, but, uh, but yeah, you know, yeah, very different. Anyway, I've rambled a lot about that. Uh, or bring back the sparkle sound. They need to do that. I that is uh, that is something that absolutely needs to happen for the individuals that you know uh, maybe have some like uh, have some issues with seeing certain colors, um, especially with subtle shinies, super sh subtle shinies. Uh, there needs to be some additional, you know, some additional uh, notification that that Pokemon is shiny. I think the sparkle sound and the stars when it spawns on screen need to happen. Um, in all future games. If they are going to be shiny in the overworld, it is just something that is re it's required. 
It's gotta happen. Um, but yeah, maybe that's just me. You were gone for months. I absolutely was. Yeah, I absolutely was. Oh, Jorge, thank you so much for the roses, my dude. I really appreciate the rosa and the rose. Very kind of you, my man. Yeah, dude, uh, Mr. Pacific Panda, I was gone for a really long time. Um, I had, you know, a lot of life hit me, you know? I just wasn't really in the uh, the best place for XYZ reasons uh, to stream, and I had to kind of put it down, and I've, I've hated it, you know? It's not been great, but I'm back now. We're streaming every single day for Safari Week. After Safari Week ends, I cannot guarantee daily streams. Um, I will likely not be able to do daily streams at the end of Safari Week, but we will be streaming again very regularly, if not here on TikTok, over on YouTube. So uh, be sure to follow if you haven't followed over there yet, you know? Uh, it really is, lol. Uh, plus, a lot of designs now aren't the best. Uh, hold up, did I miss a comment? If they want to keep making awful subtle shinies, they gotta give us at least a visual and audio cue. Exactly. 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 Just say no to shinies. To subtle shinies? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I missed a comment, Levi. Um, let's see... Like we talked about before, I just wish there were some sort of animation for the shiny though. Yeah, yeah, at least that, you know, like a minimum, an animation to indicate that that Pokemon is shiny. Um, like having the stars on it, I think is is uh, the most ideal. I think that I would prefer the uh, the Pokemon uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee sparkles, um, where it's like, it's a constant like flashing at you. Um, I think that would be the most ideal personally, uh, because that way if you miss it, it's still there, it's still going on. Uh, but at the same time, um, I would be so happy with just the Legends Arceus sparkles again. Those those are g great. And also that sound effect for it, top tier. It's so good, uh, it is so good. I feel on the life happening, dude. Uh, good, you're taking care of yourself. Yeah, man, I'm a strong advocate, you know, for, uh, I'm a strong advocate for mental health, you know? And I needed some time to be able to kind of like figure myself out a little bit, get back into some shape, you know, go running again. Take care of myself, you know, but we're back now. I'm doing a lot better, feeling great. Training for a marathon in October, guys. I'm excited. It's going to be great. Super excited, my dudes. My dumb self was like, what if uh, Look at Tongue's shiny is pink? And I'm like, well, <laughs> my dude, you need to Dr. Pepper, man. Y'all need to, you, you need to Dr. Pepper, raise the glass, you know? Here's cheers to that, dude. <laughs> but actually, like, maybe like a more hot pink shiny Look at Tongue might look good. I don't know. I like the golden look at tongue though. I think it looks good. Need a Reno and Do Duo. No shinies here. <laughs> Just make it pinker. <laughs> good luck with it. Thank you so much, Trip. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm really excited. You know, I uh, went for a little run this morning, um, which was a lot of fun. I posted about it on the uh, the Discord. I also posted on it on Instagram. Um, I was really excited. It was a really good run. It was a ton of fun being able to run with my dog. A little biscuit. He's a good little running buddy. Although I didn't necessarily run with him today. I was with Mackenzie for a while on the run, um, but we run different paces. She had biscuit today, um, and at the end of the run, I kind of uh, I I sped up a little bit um, without really realizing that I did speed up a little bit, uh, and we ended up separating for like the last mile or so. But it was a really good run. Uh, little biscuit did so good too. I love that he runs with us. He does such a good job. Good little motivator. Biscuit, can we see him? Dude, actually, you know, I don't know if I'm if I should bring Biscuit in tonight. He is um okay, poor little guy. Um we just discovered today that he's got a little bit of an ear infection, so he's not really feeling himself. Um he was having a little bit of a rough day. Um so yeah, no. Oh, Trip, thank you so much for the sub. I didn't even see that. Thank you so much, dude. That's very kind of you. Really appreciate that. I hope you enjoy these stickers that we have for the mo for the uh subs. Um if you, hold up, I'm gonna sneeze. Uh, just so you're aware, we talked about this a little bit earlier in the uh, stream. There's gonna be more stickers added here very, very soon. I'm fighting the sneeze, guys. I can feel it building up in my nasal area. It's not great. Uh, no shinies. Um, oh no, poor baby. Yeah, let's let him get some rest for sure. Yeah, he's he's having a rough time. He's real sad. He's going to the vet. We uh, we didn't we weren't able to get him into the vet yet uh, tomorrow. Um, so he's going in on Wednesday in the afternoon. I'm hoping that he feels better. Um, but yeah, poor guy. He's he's having a little bit of a rough day. But Chansey, number nine in 500 encounters, close to 600 encounters, pretty close to 600. 
Nine and six. That's pretty good, right, chat? That's that's like. I feel like we're getting a lot more chancy than we have the other day. Don't worry, y'all. There's a bit of skit sticker. I just hope it's scaled real right. <laughs> we'll see what happens, dude. I can't wait for a Pokemon Legend Z. Dude, I am with you, Levi. Dude, I am so excited for Pokemon Legend Z, dude. I've got so many theories on it, dude. Are you stopped to my YouTube, Levi? I feel like you are. Maybe you are. I posted a video of um of Pokemon uh, Legend ZA going over like my starters, who I believe the starters are gonna be. Um, and I loved it. I had a lot of fun doing that video. Um, I'm wanting to do more content like that. Evan, thank you so much for the follow, my dude. It's so nice to meet you. Welcome on into the stream. My name is Scotty, Shiny Hunter here on TikTok. You can also find me over on YouTube and Discord and Instagram, all of the fun stuff. Any link to my social, link tree in the bio uh, on my uh, profile page. It's really nice to meet you. With you being new year, you gotta tell me, what's your favorite Pokemon game? Would love to hear it. That is the 1% Scyther on the screen right now, but it is not shiny. But I'm telling you this right now, every Scyther that is rolling across that screen right now is looking high key sus, in my point of view. High key sus. Least favorite Pokemon game? Honestly, I'm. That's really hard to answer. Um, I would probably say red, blue, yellow, because. Um, I know that's probably backwards, dude. I know that's probably backwards. And it's probably not even true, to be honest with you, because I don't know if I necessarily have a least favorite Pokemon game. I play all of them. I love them all. At least for the mainline series, you know? Like, I don't think that there's anything that I don't like. But as far as red, blue, yellow goes, the reason that I would say that those are my least favorite are specifically because I believe that they are the worst games to experience Kanto in. Uh, and hear me out here, okay? Like, trust me, red, blue, yellow, those are great games. They're really, really good, um, you know? But, like... Hear me out, okay? Because I know that this is probably controversial, right? But like, Red, Blue, Yellow, they're great games, but they are dated. A lot of the systems and the updates to the Pokemon games that have made them better happened in future generations. The best experience that you can have with Kanto games is Fire Red and Leaf Green, in my opinion. I think that those are the best games. I would change my answer for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, those are good games, but some of the things, you know, like the uh, the no wild battles, didn't really love that. The fact that we don't get like any uh, future generation Pokemon, didn't necessarily love that either. I would recommend a Kanto game, Fire Red and Leaf Green, and that's why I would say, arguably, Red, Blue, Yellow are the least uh, of the Kanto games, but I don't know if it's fair for me to say that those are the worst Pokemon games, you know, in all in all honesty. To be completely fair. Souls Over will always be my top. Absolutely agreed. Absolutely agreed. Such a good game. I love Pokemon Fire or uh, Heart Gold and Souls Over. So top tier. It is so good. Um, but yeah, you know? Yeah. Sun and Moon are my least favorites. You know what? That's fair. You know, there's a lot that uh a lot that Sun and Moon. Um, I can understand that. You know, I really enjoyed Sun and Moon. I really enjoyed Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, but I will say it is very, um, you know, it it uh, is not a game. Yeah, it's not a game that I necessarily look forward to replaying. Um, I do like the Alola region. I just feel like it's a little bit too, um, a little bit too handholdy, I guess, um, with a cutscene like literally on every route. Um, I thought the story was fine. I just felt like it really, you know, was a little invasive. <laughs> I'm trying to get my buddy to replay Sun and Moon with me, uh, and it's a very uphill battle. Yeah, it's rough. I mean, the fact that, like, the, like, it takes, like, seven minutes to get your starter Pokemon. Like, I get it. They're really setting up the story. And I really feel like the story, like, I feel like they did pretty well with the story in Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. But, like, it is just a very, like, kind of frustratingly slow-moving game at times. Um, so like I totally get that Scotty how goes a brother dude captain is so good to see you man Welcome on into the stream dude. Good to see you. Welcome to Safari week day four, bro Welcome on in we are uh, 3,808 encounters into uh, Safari week no shinies have popped up yet uh, But we're hanging in there, bro. We're doing well. We got a Kangaskhan on the screen right now. That's exciting Did I hit the right button there? I don't think I did There we go. We got it there we go. There we go. What's the shiny that you have uh, that you were the most excited about? Shiny that you have that you're the most excited about. Ooh. I feel like that may have been directed to somebody else, right, Reese? Maybe. Maybe. 
I'm not trying to interrupt on the conversation, you know? Um, but yeah, dude, I, I totally get it. I get the physical special split. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, without... So that's the issue, I guess, with Fire Red and Leaf Green. So, like, that's the thing. Like, I, I would be okay if they remade Kanto game again with, like, the physical and special split. Um, but so long as it's more like Fire Red and Leaf Green. Like, if it's Fire Red and Leaf Green, but with the physical special split... Like, that is the best Kanto experience, hands down. Um, I'm hoping for some good-looking uh, starters in the next gens to come. I feel like they haven't been good lately. Dude, I don't know, man. I really liked... Uh, I really liked Sprigatito. I thought Sprigatito was great. Fue Coco is awesome. Um, but uh, I'll admit, Quaxley... Well, actually, no, I like Quaxley, too. I just don't necessarily love any of their final forms. Um, but when it comes to, like... Galar starters. I just hit you guys in the face. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you with that with my chin there But the Galar starters yo, those are those are great, man I love Rillaboom, Cinderace, and Teleon. And Teleon's probably the weakest in my point of view I don't necessarily love that one as much as like Cinderace and Rillaboom, but those are great starters, you know um, You missed Ryolu last year, right? Uh, not trying to bring up bad memories. Nah, dude. That's not a bad memory. That's a great memory, you know um <clears throat> Yeah, that, that's a great memory, dude. I, I am hoping that we get that reclaim for that Ryolu, man. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. I really want to focus on the Kanto Safari Zone right now because there's so many targets that I have just not found in the Kanto Safari Zone, you know? Um, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Levi. Yeah, that's totally fair, dude. Yeah, yeah, not not necessarily loving that, you know, for the uh, for the Galar start or no, the, no. Uh, well, yeah, I guess the Galar starters too, uh, but the uh, the Paldea starters, yeah, yeah, not not a fan <laughs> of that for sure. Um, but yeah, dude, I feel like the first forms were top tier, like those were great, but I didn't necessarily love the finals, um, any of them, honestly. Like uh, even the middle stages for me, I was just kind of like, yeah, these are just, you know, not as good as the Galar starters. Like, the Galar starters really, I loved Grookey. Grookey is such a good starter. Um, and Cinderace as well. Dude, such a good Pokemon, man. Love that Pokemon. Hey, what's the shiny encounter at? Let's go, studio. How's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. We are at 3826 for our Safari Zone. So far, we have had no shinies. Zero. Zero finals were definitely mid to bottom tier. Yeah. Yeah, they were not they just weren't they just didn't do it for me, man You know, like I I wanted to love um, Sprigatito's final form so much and and to be honest with you Mascarada Like great Pokemon when it comes to like the battle like it's really good in battle It's just I just don't it, it just is a little bit too silly for me, you know, I don't know um, It would have been really good as a as a quadruped exactly yeah, Levi, you're absolutely right. I love Skeledurge so much. I wish with all my heart that I had that, like, fire for Skeledurge. But, like, to me, I just don't like him. I just think that, you know, forgive me for saying this. I just think he's ugly. I just don't like him. I, I just don't like... I I don't know. I don't know if he's just, just like, you know, the McDonald's coloration or, like, what it is. You know, like, or just, just is overall, like, I don't know, like, what it is, man. But, like, it just doesn't vibe with me, you know? Fue Coco's great. Don't get me wrong. Love Fue Coco. But I also think Fue Coco sounds gross. Like, his cry, I think, is disgusting. Um, so I don't love that. But, like, yeah, no, I, I don't have that, like, that love for Skeledurge that everybody else has. I respect it so much. But I don't understand it. <laughs> get it but i will be nice i'll be as nice as i can i just think skeledurge uh it's funny that skeledurge was the first fire starter on all fours very true actually but i want more of that dude i need more of those um do i hunt it or try and save the luck for heart gold oh dude save the luck for heart gold soul silver my dude dude we need that we need that luck for heart gold soul silver man i'll keep my croc with his uh craft single thank you <laughs> oh yeah absolutely <laughs> I actually think, um, I actually think that I like Fue Coco's, um, maybe I like his middle stage the most, honestly. But yeah, dude, I just like, it's just not, just not my favorite, you know? I actually think Quaxley's really good. I love Quaxley's design. Um, I think he's great. I think like all of the Quaxley line look great, honestly. Um, I didn't expect him to go like Peacock. 
Um, but like, I'm, I'm for it. Like I've been saying for the longest time, like we, we need a peacock Pokemon. I didn't expect it to be a water peacock, but I'm like, yeah, that's fine. That's cool. And I guess it's not really a peacock, right? It just kind of looks like a peacock with its like big tail. Um, but like, you know, Psst, Scotty show system. I'm worried if I do that, it's going to unplug. I'm worried it's going to unplug, you know, uh, what shiny would I like to get in Safari week? Um, Honestly, my dude, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm excited for anything to shine, man. Um, so the thing about this that we're doing right now, we are actually doing our shiny badge quest um, in Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. So it's a Leaf Green shiny badge quest that we've been working on since like 2020. You know, I've had to pick it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down over the last few years, but we picked it up again. I'm excited about that. So literally anything that shines here would be a great addition to the team. Like really excited for anything to shine to go on the team. I'm really hoping um, not necessarily that it would be good for like the typing of the team. But if we ended up getting an execute, I would be super excited because I've been looking for a shiny execute in the Safari zone during Safari week since like 2018 and I've never seen one. Um, I've also failed several shiny Rhyhorn four uh to my recollection so getting that reclaim would be awesome but literally anything to shine here i would be so happy about you know pincer such a great shiny so cool to see that in safari zone you know thanks for the follow i appreciate that man it's nice to meet you welcome on in my name is scotty i'm a shiny hunter here on tiktok you can also find me over on youtube uh for some shiny hunting content and some other pokemon games and stuff Good look at that turntable simulator, dude. Let's go. I enjoy your enjoy your stream. Hunting shiny Chimchar and VDSP, dude. Let's go, man. Briefcase simulator, right? Is somebody else doing turncase simulator? Dude, Aaron, what's up, man? It's good to see you here, bro. How you been, dude? How you been? Good to see you. 3852 for our encounters right now. Hoping. Wishing we can find that shiny. That'd be great briefcase lol. I'm tired. No, you're good, dude You're good. I'm doing turntable simulator right now. I mean not not actively right like but I'm hoping to get that shiny Cyndaquil Don't let shadow hear me say that though because he's he's an advocate for the totodile which like It would be cool, but I have I have five. I don't need another one um, But it'd be cool Wait Faust is starting there soon dude. Let's go. No kidding. Good, man. I got a new job recently. Let's go. So I'm enjoying summer before the school year. Dude, I hear you, man. Dude, GG's, bro. Congrats on the new job, man. That's exciting. Love that for you. Shiny Pincer would be crazy. Dude, it would go so hard. That would go so hard, dude. Like, oh, man, I would love it. We're also in the area with the 1% uh, Shiny Scyther and my Fire Red copy. So that would be crazy if we see that Scyther. Um, and also Kangaskhan would be awesome. It would be so cool, dude. Whole team of Totodile, though. I know, man. That would be crazy. Get the, all those Gen 4 Totodiles. <laughs> I think I'm out of uh, Peter Pan characters to name them after, though. You know? Um, I don't remember having one, but we randomly found a clean copy of Heart Gold in my DA DS case. What? Thanks, being a music teacher at an elementary school, but now I'm doing some teaching band in a middle school. Let's go, dude. That's awesome, man. Dude, that's actually, that's great, dude. I love that for you. That's cool. Way to go, man. No, Wolf, no no phase yet. No phase yet. We're going strong. Phase one strong, dude. I'm here now. Your next try will be shiny. I am the shiny luck Baja. Let's go, dude. We got a shiny right here. Wow! This good shiny. <laughs> Baha, thanks for being here, man. It's good to see you. Seeing a shiny would give me life, dude. I'd be excited, dude. I would love to see it. Would love to see it. Not true. There is a whole band of lost boys. Who oh, that's a good point. No, oh, that's a good point. Oh man, are we gonna be? Are we gonna continue the uh, the Totodile redemption? The Totodile era. Totodile era. Is that is that? what it is are we doing the totodile era yo junior was good dude yo thank you for the heart me by the way and the roses by the way you want i appreciate that the total lock the total lock <laughs> uh how's the shiny luck still a zero still a zero my dude you read it too early it'll happen now oh so now is the shiny right now right now 
Dude, oh man, can you imagine, bro? That would be so scripted. I would love that. That would be so cool. Toto Team 6. Toto Lock. That'd be sick. Scyther. Every time, man. It's, it's good. It's good. It's good. Man, worth a shot. <laughs> did I say meow? Sometimes I say right meow. I didn't think I did that time. Uh, thank you for the follow on, on Twitter. AKA X, but I refuse to call it that. Thank you for the follow on Twitter. I really appreciate that. It means a lot. I cast shiny Pokemon. Yo! <laughs> those Scyther are spooky, not gonna lie. Dude, it's like, it's one of those things where like, it is a noticeable shiny. Like when we find it, it's, we're, we're gonna know. We're gonna know it's shiny. But like every single time, it's just that those joints are the only thing that are really different. So like out of the corner of my eye, as it's slowly going across the screen, it is just hidden in shadow enough that you could, you could see it as like the red joints um, for the shiny, you know? It just, it's just not, you know, it's a good shiny though. I love shiny Scyther. Yeah, they're spooky though, dude. They're really spooky. Really appreciate the, uh, the Twitter follows you guys. That means a ton. Thank you so much. Yeah, the red mouth just uh, tricks your eyes. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Do you have a star in your party to help with the encounter rates? Uh, no, I don't. But I do have a uh, Volbeat. I do have a Volbeat with um, with Illuminate in my party uh, for my fire red. Not for my leaf green. Because my leaf green, I'm actually like very picky about this copy. This copy of leaf green is shiny only. I have not caught a single Pokemon that is not shiny. And I actually love that. I think that is so cool, you know? Um... I, I, so like, I'm, I'm really, so I'm very picky about it. I haven't found like a shiny, um, a shiny, uh, uh, ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba star you. I haven't found a shiny star you yet with, a uh, with illuminate. Uh, so I, I don't have one, but honestly, like we're going, we're doing pretty good on encounters with my leaf green. You can tell it's a little bit slower, but it's not that much slower because we do have the white flute. So it, we're doing, we're doing okay. Encounters wise, I do wish we had a shiny uh, of the uh, of the star you that would be that would be crazy That would be so nice, especially if it had illuminate. I would love that um, But yeah, dude, that would be great. Oh, I was followed rip. <laughs> You're good, dude <laughs> No stress dude, it's because I hadn't followed dude. That's funny. No, no, no stress man. It's good to see you here Welcome on in uh, Including uh, are the 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 worst the Ganon. Oh terrible Terrible, terrible. Thank you for the, the heart me. Did I already say thank you for that, uh, Wolf? I appreciate that. Sometimes my screen, like, goes, uh, kind of, like, blinks. And that usually happens when somebody, like, does a dono. Um, so, like, I, I, maybe, I, maybe, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, uh, if I didn't say thank you, I want to say thank you. It means a lot. Thank you. Come on, shiny. 38.96 for the encounters. No shiny there. We're still hopeful. We are still hopeful. Guys, thank you so much for the 23,000 likes on the stream. I really do appreciate it. that. It means a ton. Everybody who's been double tapping their screens, really want to say thank you to that. It means a ton, guys. Thank you so much. Ding dong. We got a ding dong in our fire red copy. No eggs. Let's get back in there. Okay. Okay. Be amazing to see a Starmie hunt though, though. That's such a good shiny. Dude, it is a good shiny, especially Gen 3 Starmie. It would be that would be really cool. Um, yeah. I, I've been thinking about doing some fishing encounters for a while. Um for the uh for the SBQ. I think that getting a shiny Krabby would be awesome. Uh or my big hope is that we could get a, a shiny horsey. Um it's actually kind of funny. Because, um, I don't think that Seedra is that subtle of a shiny, but like my, um, there's kind of a meme with my shiny badge quest team that like it's only, except save, uh, save Dragonair, uh, Feroche. Most of my, um, shiny badge quest team are very subtle shinies. <laughs> um, so like, I feel like, I don't know, there's just kind of a little bit of a meme with that. I don't know why. But most of my team is very subtle. Um, and it's not intentional. <laughs> it just happens to be that way, you know? 
Uh, do we need to pull the helmet for the shiny luck? We might need to pull the helmet, dude. We might need to pull the helmet, man. Helmet goes hard. Uh, is this on PC or GBA? This is on GBA. Yeah, so I've got a, I've got some DSs. I would show you, but I'm a, uh, I wouldn't, I, I can't, I don't think I can without like unplugging them. Um, but yeah, I've got them hooked up. My DSs have been modified to have a capture card uh, so that I can like broadcast the gameplay. So these are legitimate copies of the game. That's why we're not like fast forwarding through the encounters to find the shiny um, or anything like that. You know, where this is uh, authentic as it gets, right? You know? Persian Snorlax Gengar, definitely subtle. Yes, yeah, super, super subtle. And I mean, like, um, even Venusaur in future generations is very, very subtle. Not so subtle in this gen, in my opinion. Like, he's, he, I think he's never looked better than he did in Gen 3, Shiny Venusaur. Um, but uh, definitely considered a subtle shiny in future gen, you know? I think, personally, I think he's kind of subtle. Shiny Cloister is nice. That's a good one. That would be a good one. We haven't gone to the uh, to the icy path yet. But yeah, dude. I mean, like Zapdos, Articuno. Those would be really cool to find. I've got to find those eventually. You know? That would be really cool. I haven't gotten any of the legendaries yet. I, I do have access to Surf, so we do have access to those now. Um, but yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't know when we're going to do that. I feel like those have got to be kind of like the finale. Like, we do those after we get the 8th gym badge, right? Before we do the Elite Four, we get all of the legends that we can save Mewtwo. I feel like that's the play, right? Uh, the yellow definitely pops in Gen 3, and Gengar absolutely peaked in Gen 3. He absolutely did. Yeah, it was really too bad, you know? Uh, Gen f uh, 6 and onward just really desaturated that shiny, which is just so sad. Just so sad. Because it, it wasn't bad. It was not a bad shiny. Same with Paris, bro. We were talking about this yesterday, dude. Paris is actually, like, decent shiny Gen 3. Like, it's good. You know, look it up on Cerebi, guys. It's good shiny. Uh, it's not nearly as subtle as it is in nowadays. Nowadays, the desaturation of the 3D models have made it look like there's very subtle differences, in my opinion. Um, but, yeah, you know, Paris, great shiny. Gen 3. And I suppose Parasect as well, right? Parasect isn't is uh, also I think peaked in Gen three. Maybe Gen four is fine. Maybe Gen four is fine. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, professional lurker, uh, where are we at encounters wise, bro? Just checking in. Just checking in, checking pulse. You know. I left, but I've returned with my shiny power. I appreciate the shiny power, Baja. Paris colors like completely changes from three to four. Yeah, no, it's 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 crazy, dude. It is it's crazy, dude. Nothing there, guys. Safari week. Nearly at half odds. It's about eight thirty. Uh, where does the name uh, Natevo come from on the bottom copy? So that used to be my gamer tag. Uh, that used to be my gamer tag. So I named myself Natevo for that. Um, actually, that was my, uh, my Twitch username for a while, uh, it was Natevo Games, uh, but everyone thought my name was Nate, <laughs> so they would always call me Nate, and I would go by it, because I was like, yeah, that's fine, like, whatever, you know, like, my name's Scotty, but you can call me Nate, like, I don't care, like, whatever, you know, um, but then ultimately I was just kind of like, you know what, I should, I should really, I should really change that, because it's not, it's not Nate, uh, so, yeah, we, we changed it. Spider, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome on in. It is good to meet you. My name is Scotty, and I'm a shiny hunter here on TikTok. You can also find me as Great Scotty over on YouTube, and uh, you can join our Discord as well for notifications on when and where we go live in the future. Uh, you're going to have to let me know which is your favorite Pokemon game, man. Just moments away. I think there's a Just Moments Away sticker that we might be able to add on. I'm not sure. Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. We'll see, dude. I'm excited to get the stickers on here, though, you know? That's going to be fun to update those for the you, uh, for you subs. Really appreciate that. Dude, yeah, right? Dude, it goes hard. What version? We're playing Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green on the Game Boy Advance. These are the authentic versions of the games. I've got them in my DS right now, which is why we are not able to fast forward through the encounters. Um, but yeah, we're just trying to see if we can find a shiny Pokemon. We got our 10th Chansey of the stream actually getting kind of close no still at uh, seven math budget math budget math math budget yeah about 700 encounters 10 and 7 so it went down a little bit evening out I suppose 
Broccoli for some good luck. Thank you so much, Trip. I tried to find a Lucario in this game. Oh, in, uh, in, uh, Scarlet Violet, dude? Or which game? <laughs> Thanks for the broccoli. I appreciate that. The rabbit food. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. <laughs> Thanks for the clovers, Chris. I appreciate that, dude. It means a lot, guys. I gotta turn my fan on. It's starting to get hot in here. Hands are sweaty. My knees are, are weak. Arms are definitely feeling, you know, like a little a little heavy, I guess, would be how I would describe it. Um I had to throw my sweater in the laundry today. Um I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say why. It just felt like I was pertinent to the story. Uh that I I felt I just felt like I had to share that. I don't know why, you know? Weird, bro. Double execute all the way across the sky. Thanks for the stars. I appreciate that you won. It means a ton, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Scyther is not shiny. Do not let him fool you guys. He's trying to pull a fast one. Those joints are not red. They are yellow. He is not a shiny. Did you have spaghetti for dinner? Yeah, I did. Yeah, dude. How'd you know, bro? Dude, that's crazy. Dude, you mind reader spoops? That's crazy, man. I've never called you spoops before. That was weird. <laughs> I'm so scared I'm gonna muscle memory and run from the shiny when it comes. Dude, I know, right? I I feel that in my soul. I feel that in my soul, dude. Um, I have to like, when I'm playing, I don't know about you, when I'm playing on the DS, dude, um, and I'm going through those encounters, I legit do not touch the consoles. The only time that I touch the consoles is when I'm putting in the inputs like they're sitting on my desk. Maybe that's the advantage of, of uh, you know, having multiple consoles at the same time is I have the ability to like literally like it's hands off, you know? Um, but yeah. Scar's just mind reader. I know, right? That's crazy. Dude, no. But yeah, dude, I would recommend if you're doing any shiny hunts, you know, and, and you've got that muscle memory, dude. Um... <clears throat> Put your, put your DS like flat on the desk, get used to playing it with like your pointer fingers, you know? Um, and just like, don't, don't touch it, you know? Like don't have both thumbs on it at the same time. That really helps me out a lot with uh, just feeling a little bit more confident that we're not gonna fail anything. That is another non-shiny Scyther. Do not let him fool you, her fool you. Uh, true, I just know these things. Only about like people had for dinner. That's crazy, man. They, dude, that's, that's like a gift, bro. That's like a superpower. You could like save the world with that, I think. 3966 encounters on the stream today. Shadow just got to slow down. Dude, you know, he's going hard, bro. He's going quick through those encounters, man. He's got to find that shiny dude. I don't blame him, man. 19,000, nearly 20,000 encounters in. Honestly, what a number, bro. Like I'm not envious from from the for the number at all, but like look at that commitment, man. Like, that's freaking awesome, dude. I know it's been on and off, you know? Still, though. Like, hashtag respect, bro. Gotta go fast. I did yesterday. You're welcome. I thank you, bro. I thought there was something different <laughs> about the world today. <laughs> dude, yeah, you gotta go fast, man. I don't blame you, bro. Dude, I would, I would want that hunt to be over. I'd want to be going so quick. I don't blame you at all, man. Nineteen thousand. That is a number, bro. That is a lot of encounters, man. Need arena and need a ran. No. Nope. Don't catch. Can I get that nineteen eight eighty eight? Dude, that'd be a number. <laughs> That's probably like the weakest reaction to that possible. <laughs> yeah, that's a number, man. Yeah. Look, look, number, number. Wow, that's a whole number. Look at that. <laughs> this is what happens when we don't pay the math budget, guys. We need more. We need more brain cells for the math budget. Um, yeah, cause yeah, that's that's rough, Ben. That's it's rough. Times are rough over here for our math budget team. Got to use that white flute. Freaking number, dude. Yeah, dude. Freaking numb, man. <laughs> oh, 
Hopefully Shadow gets uh dude, I hope it pops, man. I hope I hope that the floodgates open. I hope they've opened for you very soon. Day four, bro. Praying to the shiny gods, dude. Thank you so much. I appreciate that werewolf. I'm hoping, man. I am so hoping that we get it soon. It would be so good. Would absolutely love that for us. That'd be a great time. But nothing yet. 3,984, 4096 is a half odds. I think we can make it to 4096. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to go fast. Uh, assuming we don't find the shiny beforehand, I think we can make it to 4096 before we call it for the night. Appreciate the 28,000 likes on the stream, by the way, guys. It really means a lot. Thank you guys so much for double tapping that screen and all of the new follows today. I really appreciate that. Really means a ton, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your support. In any way, it really means a lot. Thank you guys so much. 39.90. I'm waiting for my first uh, over odds uh, hunt. It's got to be uh, soon the highest num hunt I've ever had. 6,500 for Heracross, dude. Let's go. Wait, hold on, Trip. Hold up. You can sub without being followed, dude. That's crazy. Thanks for the follow, bro. What's your ideal safari shiny uh, for this playthrough? Honestly, I'd be so game with anything. I feel like Nido King would be so good for the playthrough. I feel like that would be he would be so good to add to the team. Um, his ground typing would be really nice. Um, his poison typing is already in several members of my team, so I don't know if I necessarily need that. Um, but yeah, Nido King, Nido Queen, those would be great. Um, honestly, I'd be so happy with anything. I really want a Rhyhorn. To shine again for the team specifically he would be the best type for the team we don't have a rock type we don't have a ground type and those are both really good for kanto you know so like especially like this later half like i feel like they could go so hard um in the elite four and everything like i feel like they would be really good um but yeah dude yeah i just noticed i was so confused dude i'm so confused that is crazy but thank you for the follow i really appreciate that man uh, heck yeah, Chimchar, post that, just, wait, 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 Chimchar, 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 you got the Chimchar, dude, no kidding, bro, yo, I gotta see that in the Discord, man, dude, congrats on the Chimchar, oh my gosh, did you phase for that, bro, did you end up seeing a, a shiny, uh, non-catchable Starly, bro, that's awesome, man, congrats, dude, uh, that was, that was Briefcave Simulator, right, I feel like it was, uh, I'm back playing basketball, dude. Welcome back. Six hours, man. Dude, that's a workout, dude. Dude, welcome back. Hopefully you had a good time playing basketball today. Oh, upload it and join your Discord. Dude, let's go, man. Dude, let's go. Yeah, links in the uh, link tree on my profile. Um, if you click on that, you can find the link to my Discord, to my YouTube, uh, Instagram. All of my socials are there. Twitter. Um, whatever, you know, everywhere that I'm active, you'll find it there. What was the number? Uh, 19900? Is that Shadow? Bro, I love Pokemon community and TikTok. I hope you stream more. Dude, yeah, man, I am going to be streaming every single day for Safari Week. After Safari Week ends, my schedule is, uh, it is a little crazy, so I will not be able to stream on the daily. Um, but I will be streaming more for sure. Um, also, you know, like I said, we got content on YouTube, you know, so join that for sure uh, to get some uh, some content on YouTube as well. Um, but yeah, if you're, you know, if you're on YouTube, if not, you know, then whatever. I'm not going to, you know, do whatever, you know. Um, but yeah, man. Yeah, man. We're here on TikTok. We love it. It's great stuff. Yeah, Pokemon community on TikTok goes hard, dude. It's so fun. I love the Pokemon community here. This community is awesome. I'm so grateful that I've been able to build this up, you know, be able to hang out with you guys. It really means a lot. So thank you guys for being here. Paris and Rhyhorn, no shinies here. 40, 20. 19, 900, bro, 19K, 900. Dude, are you gonna get to 20K today? Or find the shiny before? <laughs> I hope you find the shiny before you get 20K. Dude, 20k, man. What a number, bro. What a number. I feel like... So, 
the trend I feel like so far, no, actually, I don't know. Safari week has kind of been crazy. Like there have been a couple of uh, content creators that I've seen so far uh, that have found multiple shinies in one stream. Uh, and then there have been others who have gone double, triple odds so far from what I've seen. So it's, it's really just doing what it wants right now. It's been an interesting year to begin with, you know? So we'll have to see how it ends up, you know? But we are, uh, Still under half odds, just barely under half odds. No shiny for us yet. That is more or less to be expected. Um, but hopefully we can find something soon. That would be great. We're definitely not droughting by any means. But, you know, it would be great to get something. Thank you so much for this GG's. I really appreciate that. Sorry if I missed that. Uh, I don't know how recent that was. I apologize, dude. Um... Currently 5,200 in BDSP Great Marsh. No Kankis gone today. Uh, so going for Yama. Oh, dude, good luck with the Yama, man. That's such a good one to find. Dude, let's go, man. Oh, dude, the bummer, though, about Kankis gone. That's a big bummer. I spot your YouTube streams earlier, and suddenly I got a push notification to watch them, lol. Oh, hey, let's go. <laughs> yeah, the VODs. I posted the VODs uh, earlier today. So you might see those. So yeah, dude, all of the VODs are there. I'm gonna be posting this VOD on YouTube as well. So if you're needing something while you're, you know, to watch while you're, you know, shiny hunting and you enjoy the streams, all of these are uploaded on there. So you can uh, check them out. You know, they're gonna be in a in the horizontal format. That's what I'm recording them in. Um, so yeah, you know, can check them out on YouTube if you're so interested. Um, but yeah, they're they're there. You know, Kangaskhan and Pincer. It's a double four percent. That's cool. That's pretty neat. How neat is that? Do duo. Found a net. I had one of yours pop up on my work computer. That was cool. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> that's sick, dude. <laughs> what are the odds of that? The double 4% at the same time? That's got to be something, right? My favorite chapter of Pokemon. What? Welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Safari Week. 2024. Hopefully it's uh not quite like uh Jurassic Park. Uh tap that screen, we need the helmet. <laughs> Thank you so much for the double taps, you guys. I appreciate it. 29,000 on the stream. You guys are incredible. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully, all those double taps will bring that shiny luck in. Thank you for the join my team, the heart me. Really appreciate that. Serious, I appreciate that. That's super kind of you, man. It is not an expectation that anybody financially contribute, but guys, it really, it means a lot. Thank you so much for making it possible for me to be able to stream uh, more frequently, um, you know, to relive our uh, coming out of retirement era. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm excited to be here, man. It really means a lot. Thank you so much. Uh, didn't you have one where you had like 500,000 likes? Uh, yeah, back in the day, dude, doing like uh, uh, the uh, radar hunts. Those are fun, dude. Once we get to like 40 encounters on those radars, uh, usually, uh, like numbers go crazy. Numbers go crazy at that point. Um, any shiny nothing yet, Andrew? We're almost at half though, almost at half odds. So that's crazy. I could say that we're almost moments away from a shiny because technically speaking, all it takes is one encounter to find a shiny. So I mean like that's kind of a, a way to you know, like, be excited, I guess. You know, you know? Can't believe it's been two years since I began wa to watch you. Dude, that's crazy, man. Yeah, dude. It's been it's been a long run. It's been a fun run here on TikTok. I really feel bad that it, I've been, like, inconsistent as of late, you know? But, uh, but dude, I've, I've had such a good time here on TikTok being able to create content for all y'all. Really means a lot to have you guys here. Two years, man. That means a lot, Stain. I appreciate that. Radar hunts for the win. Dude, radar hunts are... They go hard, man. I love radar hunts. I need to bring that back. That would be a lot of fun. Um, you joined in on, on Bird. When was that? Uh, the, uh, the... The Spiro? Is that what you mean? That... Uh, the Ganon? Who is sealed in the PC? Chitot, oh, Chitot. Oh, he was a jerk. Yeah, he was mean, man. Those those radars were, that was a rough one. He just wanted to break the chain. He did not want to join in. Yeah, Chitot, Chitot was a good one. That was a lot of fun. Um, That one was like probably, oh man, I loved that Chitot hunt. We have a Chitot sticker. 
I want to say a little before Chitot. I think so. Still remember the shiny Snorlax? Oh, dude, that was a great time. Chitot, my beloved. Dude, it, Chitot is such a good shiny, honestly. It, I am so glad that we found the shiny Chitot in Gen 4. It's so good. It's so good, dude. Um, I love that bird. I found you when you were working on Snorlax. Heck yeah, dude. Yeah, Snorlax went hard, dude. That one, uh, a lot of people were really invested in that hunt. You know, we get people that were like, that joined in originally for the Snorlax, and they still ask, you know, like they haven't seen me since they didn't see the, uh, the reaction video. Um, so we still get people every stream asking if we found the Snorlax, um, or if I'm the Snorlax guy, you know? Uh, it's crazy, man. Snorlax went hard. Yeah, Snorlax went really hard. Love that shiny. That is like such, that was such a moment, I feel like. Like that was such an accomplishment, like for the channel, I feel like. Finally finding that Snorlax. I feel like finally, you know, like as a community, we like, we really like came together over that hunt, you know? Joined for the Snorlax, stayed for the Scotty. Thank you so much. Appreciate that, dude. That's so kind of you, man. That's so freaking kind of you. What have I done to deserve you guys? Seriously, y'all are too good to me. Y'all are too good to me. Um, I have so many shiny Chitot and Legends Arceus, dude. Honestly, shiny Chitot is such a good Pokemon. What, literally your favorite Pokemon, dude? I love shiny Chitot. I love that it's your favorite Pokemon, dude. Like honestly, like whenever. And to be fair, to be completely honest with you, man. Like this is no cap whatsoever, Tali. Whenever I see a Chitot, I think about you because I know your love for Chitot. And I'm not joking about that whatsoever. You know, like I love Chitot as well. But like my love for Chitot, like I, dude, I just I love that you love it so much. So whenever I see a Chitot. I think about you, man. Um, yeah, I'm hoping, I'm hoping Gen ZA, what, or Legend ZA, whatever it's called. I'm hoping Chitot's there. He's a good one, man. Hey, Wolfie, thank you so much for the follow, dude. I appreciate that. Welcome on in. It's nice to meet you, bro. My name is Scotty. I'm a shiny hunter here on TikTok. You can also find me over on YouTube, Discord, Instagram. The link to all of my socials in the link tree. Welcome on in, bro. It's nice to meet you. You're going to have to let me know. What Pokemon game are you playing through right now? I would love to hear that. I would love to know. We just need a shiny dude, Junior. I agree, man. Bro's out here being a beacon of positivity, wondering why people. <laughs> I don't feel like I deserve it, man. Dude, seriously though, like, yeah, sure, I'm a beacon of positivity or whatever, I guess. But like, like, I feel like I have been so inconsistent. Like, I don't, I don't feel like I deserve the the love that you guys show. You know, like, I, I, I just, I feel like I, um. And a lot, and my mods, my mods talk to me about this all the time. I'm a perfectionist, guys. I really struggle with it sometimes. Um, but my mods tell me all the time that like, no, like, you know, don't be so hard on yourself. But like, I genuinely, whenever I have like a break, you know, where I like have a, 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 a long absence, I genuinely feel like I have betrayed my community. Like, I do not like it at all. It really bugs me. Um, to have your guys' support means so much. To have your continued support like to come back over and over time and time again, even though I've been away, even though I have not been consistent, I've been gone. You know, I feel like I, it's easy to forget about, you know, you know, the, the content creators that you, the streamers that you watch, you know, if they, if they disappear sometimes it's easy to forget about them, but having you guys come back time and time again, like it really means so much to me. Um, and I genuinely like, yeah, dude, I, I don't feel like I deserve it half the time, but I really do appreciate you guys being here and showing me that love and support like I don't feel like I deserve you guys but I'm so grateful that y'all found this community that together we can enjoy Pokemon together we can build up this community here on TikTok it really means a lot it really genuinely does TikTok YouTube wherever we're at I love it I really do um I really really do we just hit half odds guys we just hit over half odds um I would sing but legit, guys, my throat's killing me. <laughs> so I'm not going to. It's not killing me, okay? It's just already very tired. I feel like if I try to push it and sing um, halfway there, I genuinely think that it would break. And I, I, there's still plenty of Safari Week to go. So, like, I don't want to lose my voice, you know? <laughs> and I talk so much, dude. I talk so much on these live streams. So it's like one of those things where it's like, no, I need my voice. <laughs> so so no, no singing. But, you know, I appreciate We're halfway there. We're definitely living on a prayer. All right, chat, we're doing it. Whoa, long time no see, Jello. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. How have you been? Hopefully you're doing well. Happy Safari Week 2024, my dude. We are here in Kanto right now. Man, we're loving it. We've seen a total of 10 Chansey today. 
in almost a thousand encounters. We're literally living up to that 1% right now. It's been a minute since we've seen a Chansey. We're tracking them tonight because we had a killer Chansey streak, you know? Like, we had a ton of Chansey just like popping up left and right earlier. That was crazy. <laughs> Lemon and a pear. <laughs> With Execute, its nickname should be Lemon. Dude, um, I hear ya, that's a great nickname. Bro, but with the Legend of Zelda theming that we've got, hear me out here, okay? For y'all that are Legend of Zelda fans, tell me, tell me if there is a better nickname for an Execute than one of these two, okay? If it's a male, we name it Koholand. If it's a female, we name her Marin. Come on. Come on. Come on, dude. That's so good for the theme, man. That's so good. Y'all know it, right? I mean, I, I, there's probably better out there, but I feel like that fits so well. I feel like it fits so well. Sorry, stream on my FYP, and I literally gasped. Your shiny hunts have always made me so happy. Dude, thank you so much for saying that, man. Dude, I love that. I love that. Thank you so much, bro. I'm so glad that I'm back on your FYP, dude. It means a ton to be able to reach out to you. It means great. It means a lot, man. Both great Legend of Zelda names, right though? Right? I don't remember if I thought of those or if somebody in the community thought of them because we've been thinking about Legend of Zelda themed names. I can't remember. I feel like I thought of Koholand. Um, maybe. And maybe somebody else uh, suggested Marin. Um, but like those, I feel like those are like, those are so good for an executor. Those are so good. 4118. Wait, uh, what names? My brain said, <laughs> what words? <laughs> you're good, you're good. A uh, Koholint if it's a male, uh, Marin if it's a female. I don't think we talked about egg names actually. What, really? Did I just, did we, did I, did I dream that maybe? Maybe I dreamed it. I feel like I've hit the space, uh, the enter maybe a little bit too much. Maybe I've accidentally double counted a couple of these. Whoopsie. Is what it is. Is what it is. I know for a fact that we've missed several encounters on previous streams, so I feel like we're just kind of rounding it. You know, like it's it's all coming together. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Perfect names. Love it. Chancy, so good to see ya. How are you doing, man? Dude, it's good to see you. Welcome on into the stream. How's your day been? Would love to just like chat and hang out. You know, it's good to catch up with you. You know, it's always such a pleasure when we have a Chansey visit the stream. That is an egg, not a Chansey for a second. I saw the pink and I thought we got the Chansey back to back, which would be rarer than a shiny. I bring that up every time, but legit, that would have that would have been a moment, man. That would have been a moment. Unless my math is wrong, because trust me, the math budget has not been paid for, so it could be wrong. We never know. 41, 32, nothing yet. Thanks for the luck, Weston. I appreciate that. Was good, Chad. How's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. My first ever shiny was the Ultra Sun uh, a Wormhole Encounters. Was a Mag Cargo. Dude, named Daruk. What a name for a Mag Cargo. That is awesome. I love that. That is a great Legend of Zelda reference. Seriously, though. Honestly, everything would be a great shiny. Seriously, I have no complaints here. Like, there is nothing, nothing in the Safari Zone that I would be upset about. Like, especially knowing that it's joining the SBQ, anything that shines here would go so hard. Genuinely, um, I, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for something to shine. Like, trust me, I want to get to the fire. I want to get to the uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver Safari Zones. And, um, you know, I, I, I don't know. But, like, there's a part of me that's like, okay, like, if it's a, if it's a choice between two uh, Fire Red Leaf Green or two Heart Gold Soul Silver, um, like, I don't know. Like, it's hard for me to say. Like, oh, I don't know. Druk is hands down one of my favorite Legend of Zelda characters. Dude, he's so good. So, okay, I have I have trouble remembering the Goron sometimes. Daruk is Daruk's protection. Okay, so that's Breath of the Wild. Um, Darmani is uh, Majora's Mask. Is that right? Is that right? Um, I I want to get a uh, I want to get um like a shiny Golem one of these days and name it after one of the Gorons. I feel like that would be great. I also think that we were talking about some of the Goron names for Rhyhorn and Rhydon. Um, Cause I feel like those would also go hard. Dude, double, double Kangaskhan, man, what? Game is treating us tonight, dude. That is so good. Yeah, Dermani is Majora's Mask. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Hey, TBY, thank you so much for the GG's. Oh, Chad with the galaxy, my dude. 
Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that, man. Dude, can we get some dubs in the chat? I appreciate everybody here. Anybody, it's not an expectation for anybody to give, you know, any sort of gift or anything like that. But guys, it really, it really does go a long way. It makes it possible for me to be able to do this more often, especially after Safari Week. So I really do appreciate that, guys. Thank you so much for the support. It, genuinely, guys, thank you so much. Um, Nidoran and Nidoran. No shinies there. That's a great idea. Dude, I, I would love it. I would love it. We just, you know, we can't get too attached to the idea because, you know... Uh, the shinies are not ours until they decide to be our friends, right? Thank you for the hand hearts. Appreciate that. Thank you so much, Chad. Dude, you're a legend, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bro, just just out. <laughs> GG's like, what? No, dude, no. I hope you don't feel that way, man. <laughs> Seriously, anybody, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> My bad, Vol. <laughs> you guys are awesome, dude. You guys are so great. I miss Tears of the Kingdom. I think uh, I should get a golem and name it um, after the Goron in Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, uh, Daruk. Daruk, right? Daruk's protection. Daruk's protection is now ready. Rivali's Gale. Maybe we name, uh, maybe, uh, well, I don't know. There's not a lot of uh, Kanto Pokemon that would go well with Rivali. Rivali would be great for a... Uh, 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 Rowlet, actually. That would actually go hard for Rowlet, dude. Tears of the Kingdom, Goron, is Unobo. Oh! Tears of the Kingdom. Did I say Breath of the Wild? I think I did. I think I messed that up, chat. I think I messed that up bad. Yeah, Tears of the Kingdom is Unobo. What's good? Yo, thank you so much for the hand hearts, chat. Appreciate that, man. Thank you so much, dude. Um... What's good? How are you doing, big man? Good to see you here. Welcome on into tonight's stream, man. We are uh, Safari Week Day Four. You know, we're safariing. We're safarin. We're safarin, bro. We're going for. We're, we're safarin, man. Forty-one fifty for those encounters. You know, safarin. And uh, no shinies, but that's cool because we're safarin. We love it. Uh, Shadow, have you hit twenty k yet? I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no, 20k. Yeah, 20k. Thanks for your amazing live, dude. I've got to uh, help out and put our boys to bed, dude. I hear you, man. Have a great night, dude. I love you. Yeah, thank you so much for being here, dude. Um, and yeah, man, I will see you again here. Uh, I'll be here tomorrow. Um, I don't... I don't know if I'll be live on YouTube. I've really been enjoying doing the VODs on YouTube. I thought that was a ton of fun. Um, so I don't know, man. I know that if we go live on YouTube, like the VODs will be there. But I feel like we... I don't know. I've really been enjoying um, reconnecting with everybody here on TikTok instead of doing the the, the lives over on YouTube. Um, but yeah, I do I do want to I do want to pay attention to the YouTube community as well because there are some people that are on YouTube that are not on TikTok. There's a lot of people that are on TikTok that are not on TikTok that are not on YouTube. So I don't know. It's hard to balance it, bro. It's hard to balance it. At any rate, have a great night. It's good to see you. Good luck putting the kids to bed. I'll see you again here soon. Have a great night, man. Uh, Absol. Absol. Execute. Need a Rian. How's your day? Yo, Bin Man, it's been good, bro. It's been a good day. Thank you for asking, dude. Um, yeah, man, it's been good. I'm feeling a little tired, dude. So I, uh, I told, I told chat earlier. Um, so you know, uh, you know, I'm training for a marathon right now. Um, had a run early this morning. I thought that I set the alarm clock for 4.30 last night before we went to bed. Uh, I did not. Uh, I set it for 3.40. Um, and instinctively, when my alarm went off, I just immediately jumped out of bed. So I was up way earlier than I needed to be. So it's been, uh, it's been a long day. I'm definitely a little sleepy. Um, but it's been a good day. It's been a good day, man. How have you been? Oh, that was a ton of steps. That was a ton of steps out of the grass. No. Is there a reliable... Uh, I just got really scared. What do I do if I get a shiny? Um, Honestly... Yeah, there's like kind of some strats with like throwing the bait, throwing the mud. Um, I don't know, dude. I usually like... I don't, I don't have the like equation for it, you know? Like I've been told that the, uh, the best strats are like um, bait... 
like I don't know if it's like double bait one mud and then throw ball I don't know what it is to be honest with you there's something out there though um personally I just throw ball because I feel like if you, you can you can you miss every shot that you don't take right um you so like if you throw a bait it could just flee it's not a guarantee that it stays with the bait, right? So like genuinely, I feel like it's it's kind of, it's hard because like if it's chancy, it might be worth it. If it's King of Scon, it might be worth it to throw a bait first. Um, but honestly, you miss every shot that you don't take, right? So like it might, for like a lot of the Pokemon, it might just be best to throw the ball. Like, but I could be wrong. So maybe don't quote me on that. You know, who remembers the Miss Shiny Clefairy from last year? The Chansey from last year? Dude, me. I remember that. That was so sad, bro. I mean, it was cool though. Like, it's one of those things where it's like, it was never mine to begin with, right? Like, it just the fact that it graced us with its presence in Heart Gold Soul Silver, that was enough for me. That was cool. I loved that, you know? Chancy, that's right. It's all good. I auto corrected. Did I auto correct it? Maybe I didn't, but I knew what you meant. I knew what you meant. Yeah, dude, that was fun. That was a fun one. That was rough, you know? I mean, like, you never, it's never, it's never ideal to fail a shiny, right? But, like, you know, it, it's part of the Safari Week experience. You know, you have to at least fail one, right? Like, it's, once you fail one, it's like ripping off a band-aid, you know? It's like, oh, cool, you know, it happens, right? Bro, I still miss my little Mewtwo on the purple app. Oh, dude, yeah, dude. Oh, man. Yeah, that was rough on my, my laptop back in the day. I haven't set that up again. Um, mostly because, like, I just feel like it's, like, it distracts me. <laughs> It distracts me in my ability to like hang out with the chat, you know, like to really be active with everybody in the chat as much as possible. I have no idea if that would work on TikTok. I feel like TikTok is like is so crazy. I don't think it would connect with TikTok at all. Um, maybe on YouTube I could get that set up again. Um, but like, yeah, dude, I get so distracted. I get so distracted by that. How many shinies did you get during Safari Week last year? Um, dude, what was that? Run, bro. That was so many encounter. That was so many steps. Um, last year, did I get four? So we had the Ryolu fail. We had the Nuzleaf win. We had the Chansey fail. And we had the Rhyhorn fail at the end. And I don't think I'm missing any others. I think that Nose Pass was the year before. Geodude was the year before. Jumpluff was a fail the year before, or Skiploom was a fail the year before. Um, I think we had four last year. Was Le Leon? Uh, Le I don't know how to pronounce that today. I cannot pronounce it. Um, I think it was two years ago. I don't think it was last year. But then again, we really started to do the Legend of Zelda theme for the nicknames, I feel like, last year. So maybe... Leonaru was last year because of the Zelda nicknames. I don't know if it has a date on it. I might have to check that save file. Do I, I, did I not? I don't think I did. I don't think I did the white flute. That might be why we're getting so many, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I just, I just, I just passed that. Don't pass that. <laughs> yeah, last year feels like a blur to me. I remember two years ago more. I feel the same. I feel the same. Last year was hard because I feel like we just failed a lot last year. Like there was, and there was a lot, there was a huge drought at the end, you know? It wasn't necessarily a huge drought, but like two years ago, I did like that monster stream where I was streaming like literally from like the break of dawn to like midnight or something. Like we had a crazy monster stream. Um, but last year we didn't, we didn't do that. This year we're not going to be able to do that. Um, so maybe it was more memorable because of that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah, seriously, shoot, dude. I know that, um, I don't know if I did a compilation video last year because I feel like last year was kind of uneventful. I'll be doing it this year for sure, no matter what. I'll be doing something for it for sure. I've got all of the footage saved so far for Safari Week. Um, so yeah, like we're, we're, we've got it. You know, we're going to be doing a compilation video for YouTube. Um, actually I've not been getting as much B footage for that as I should be, you know, like telling the story. I should probably work on that a little bit, try to get the script going a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of been like a little bit of a slower start for Safari week this year. 
As long as something shines, yeah, dude, as long as something shines, even if it doesn't, though, like, the thing is, is, like, we're still telling a huge story by doing Safari Week, you know, like, my Safari Week experience has been kind of crazy, because, like, school, work, you know, marathon training, granted, I probably wouldn't talk a lot about school and work in the compilation video, um, or about my story, but, you know, like, I've always been very inspired by Absol blog videos, um, aka, you know, Matt, um, but yeah, you know, so like, I don't know, like telling a little bit of my story about like, hey, this is what's going on in my life right now. Like kind of doing like a little bit of like, I don't know, for uh, a vlog, I guess. Yeah, um, I think that could be fun, right? Uh, it's been so long since I played Pokemon, dude, right though? Dude, I have not really had the time for it, honestly. Like, it's been rough, man. It's been rough. And it's hard too, because like there's been other games that have come out that I've been like very invested in, you know, like... Uh, uh, the Thousand Year Door, bro. I don't know if you got that, dude, on the Switch. I was so excited for that to come out. I, I loved it, you know? Uh, such a good game. One of my favorites growing up. So good. High recommend. Bro never reads the script. Script said we were supposed to get a shiny every encounter, so I don't know what's going on. That's fair, yeah, dude. I never I never follow the script, though. I never follow the script. Um, hey, uh, Shadow, are we at 20k? Shadow, are we at 20k? This is ground control to Shadow. You've really hit the grace. That's a King is gone. Rhyhorn is not shiny. Bro never reads the script. Yeah, dude, I'm never on the script, bro. I'm never on script. It's terrible. Just hit 20k. Oh man, dude. The last one I bought was a uh, Violet and never bought another one. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I hear ya. Yeah. Um. Gotta figure out how to call the lurker. <laughs> we should figure out a lurking emote, dude. I think that would be a good. Dude, what if we just do like a sleeping, like. Like, with like. You know, like those, like, those iconic, like, hats, like, kind of the sleepy hats, you know? Is that a thing? Maybe that's just a thing in my mind. But we could do like a like a Pokemon sleeping for the Lurk emote. I think that would go hard, bro. That would be adorable. Like do a little leafy on or something, like snuggled in. That would be cute. I would love that. Maybe I don't know. You've really hit the grades. Rowlet, obviously. Oh, obvi. That would be so good. Would love that. Nidoran and eggs. No shinies here. We just hit 4220. Nine o'clock. I should probably be wrapping things up here pretty soon. Gotta get to bed. Any shiny yet? Brent, no shinies yet, my dude. No shinies yet. We just passed over half odds tonight, but no shinies. The old long sleeve hat and pants outfit. <laughs> oh man. I don't remember the long sleeve. But what if Komala? Ooh, that would be a good one too. That'd be cute, man. That'd be really cute. Double eggs all the way across the sky. All the way across the sky. What are we getting to, guys? We should probably be wrapping things up here pretty soon. Uh, we can make it to 4250. I feel like that's a good number to end on. Let's see if we can make it to 4250 and then we'll, uh, we'll call it a night. Reese has it. Reese has got it. That's where all the brain is. That's the brain cell. There it is. There it is. There it is. Eggs. Double eggs again, man. You love to see it. 4228. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Welcome on into the stream, my dude. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Safari Week 2024, day four. Kill streak, good to see you here, man. Welcome on in. We are literally going for anything to shine here in the Safari Zone tonight, dude. Uh, just trying to find a shiny Pokemon. Hopefully, it decides to be our friend and it doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't flee on us. But hey, you know, it is what it is. It's part of the fun with Safari Week, you know. So we will see. We will see. We've got a Paris and a Nidoran. Uh, Hardcold says over the reason why he isn't uh, getting shinies is because shiny Rowlet is not in stream. That is true. That's true. No shiny Rowlet equals no shinies, period. That's a rule. It's a rule. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Appreciate that, man. Welcome on in. 
Uh, name is Scotty. I'm a shiny hunter here on the TikToks. Uh, you can also find me over on like YouTube, Instagram, all of my socials that I'm active on are in my link tree. If you want to follow there, you definitely don't need to. Um, but just so you're aware, I'm active on those platforms as well. So uh, check it out if you're interested. But yeah, man, welcome to Safari Week 2024. I'm going to be live streaming every single day for Safari Week. We're day four of day nine for Safari Week. So, oh man, it's crazy to think that we're almost halfway through Safari Week. Are you kidding me, dude? Oh, that's terrible. Um... But yeah, man, we're going to be here every day after uh, Safari week. I'm not going to be able to stream daily, but we're going to be live streaming pretty frequently. We're going to we're going to be uh, really coming back with live stream. So, um, but yeah, it's nice to meet you, dude. Shiny Kangaskhan is Mifa or a, a Rudo, dude. That would be so good. Oh, that would be so good. Love that. Um, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Um, who was the champion in, in Breath of the Wild for the Gerudo? What was her name? Um, I feel like she would be the best Kangaskhan. Because her character was like, uh, was like a very, um, like protective figure over Zelda. Like very, very protective figure over Zelda. So I feel like that goes, that pairs really well with Kangaskhan having the baby. What is her name? Urbosa. Urbosa could go so hard for Kangaskhan. Urbosa could go so hard for Kangaskhan. What do y'all think? I feel like that's a good one, personally. I love Mifa or Rudo, though. I like Rudo a lot for it. Mifa, I feel like we would need to do... Um, gotta be a water type. Gotta be a water type. If we, uh, if we nickname a shiny uh, Mifa... Gotta run. Get that at second encounter. Come on. There we go. Uh, oh, 4252. I missed it. I was not paying attention. Let's do one more just because, you know, because that's that's the way it be. That's the way it be. And then we're going to start closing things out here. Uh, oh, that's a ding dong. So, okay. Yeah, that's okay. Let's just do one more encounter on this one. Uh, so we can get that two because my encounter goes up by two. We'll do that. See what we got. That's an egg. It's not shiny. Perfect timing on that. Seriously, yeah. Seriously, perfect timing on that. The kangaroo from the Oracle games would be fun too, uh, but I think he's... Oh, I don't know his name, but you're right. That could be really good. That could be really good too. Oh, I don't remember his name though. I haven't played the Oracle games actually. Those are those are some of the Zelda games that I have not uh, really been able to, you know, play through. Um, but, uh, but yeah. Okay. Well, chat. Where's my thing? Where's my thing? Chat. Uh, I want to say thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight for Safari Week 2024. This has been a great stream. I've had a great time, guys. It's been so fun. I am going to be calling it a night. I got to go to bed. I am exhausted. But, y'all, thank you so much for being here. It really means a lot. Thank you all so much for the support, for the follows, for the subs. I really appreciate you guys being here um, and making the Safari Week such a great experience for me. I'm hoping that you guys are having better shiny luck than me. I mean, we just hit half odds, so it's not terrible necessarily. Um, but, yeah, guys, thanks for being here. I love you. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I am going to call it a night, but I will see you here tomorrow. I'll be live again tomorrow. VOD will be posted up on YouTube once again here very soon. Um, but yeah, love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to have a, I'm going to call it a night, but I'll see you guys here tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.